Hello, welcome back to Bald and Bored Games. I'm bald. I'm bald. No, I'm bald. <laughs> I'm bald. I'm bored. Were you bored? <laughs> yes. Hello, welcome to Bald and Bored Games. I'm bald. I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> we're struggling tonight. Uh, tonight we're playing D6 by Certifiable Studios. And if you want to go down to the board here, let's show them this awesome book that we have. So uh, this book is the how to play, it has stories in there. It's just, it's so cool. So nice. And it imitates one of the original Dungeons and Dragons books, yes. which, is, which is great. And then it has certifiable studios, uh, traditional cartoonish artwork. Uh, if I take this off though, you can see the actual board yeah. and all of our setups here. So before we get into like the actual gameplay, we will read some fun stuff uh, yeah. to introduce our characters, all of that. Uh, but the very quick overview here, as Nick mentioned, it's uh, called D6. You have a full map here of different locations. You're gonna have monsters spawning. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be little quests and bounties. Uh, you have cards that'll benefit your character or hinder other characters. Uh, and it is PVP, so we're gonna be going through, uh, playing through all of these rounds here across this dial, uh, which also have mid quest lines and other fun stuff in it. You'll have some and little see, stories mixed up throughout. See who can survive the catacombs. The, no, the catacombs? I mean, I guess the dungeons are kind of like yeah. catacombs. But yeah, you'll get to see us put all that stuff out so you get to see how random this game can be. And that's really where the replayability comes into play here is the, the setup is completely random for a bunch of this. Who you're playing with, of course, the cards you get during the game, and of course you're rolling dice. So sometimes the dice are with you, sometimes they aren't. But I'm going to start off by reading the uh, beginning ex excerpt. Excerpt? That's how yeah. I'm saying Prologue excerpt. Yeah. The short little deal here just says the world of D6. In D6, you're playing the role of players playing a role playing game. That boat you needed, it's already in the harbor. That pit, it's already been dug. Every adventure will be different, but your objectives will remain the same. Kill monsters, collect the bounties, gain the glory. That's it. <laughs> That's really the gist of the game of what we're going to be doing. Uh, so we each have our, our characters here. Do you want to look like so you're up first? Yeah. So show you my character board off here a little bit. So I chose uh, okay. randomly chose the mesmerist. Uh, there's four baseboards here. Uh, we randomly chose that. So I got the mesmerist. Uh, and this is my little character card. As you can see there, a little skull. A uh, skeleton dude. No skeleton. Looks like he's going to uh, murder and eat everybody. Uh, Shikaka is <laughs> the, the white devil, as we uh, Ace Ventura lovers know. Yes. So, uh, just a little information about the skeleton crew they provide us. Uh, it is uh, a group of three. I'm only playing one of the three characters. Uh, no one seems to know if, they, if that's what they call themselves, or it's a name thrust upon them because, well, mm. they're skeletons. There are those who say they're the last vestiges of a long-forgotten army. Of a long-forgotten army. I'm like, that didn't sound right. Others <laughs> insist they're undead monsters of a cursed family. Long-forgotten army. Can they think for themselves, or do they operate as one entity? Mm. Again, people can only speculate. At the end of the day, there are many more questions than answers when it comes to this lot. The only thing known for certain is when they show up, Bloodshed is not far behind. Ooh. Yikes. So we'll flip over to your game board there. Alrighty, you're gonna flip to my page here. You can take that little guy here. So I have got this lovely guy here. This is <laughs> and I randomly chose him because I was like, ah, oh, he looks cool. He's called the Disaster Knight. And now each of these cards do have a a, a class. That goes with them so he's typically the slayer we drove we chose our classes at random so i have the explorer it doesn't really matter what class you play with them which is kind of thematically he would be the slayer uh, but so he is the disaster knight his chief is a uh, pet uh pet acronym Oop, there we are sorry getting used to the above head camera here <laughs> says zero percent chance of success nowhere to go but up one day, far in the future, there will exist an elite unit of astronauts tasked with accomplishing the impossible. They'll conceive the inconceivable like it's their job because, well, it is. 
They won't know about the disaster night, but they'll be following in his footsteps nonetheless. The disaster night fights and defeats the fiercest critters when the odds just don't make any damn sense. He's never uttered the word why without following it up with not. His <laughs> tactics defy any discernible pattern and his methods defy any conventional logic. Somehow, those hides keep stacking up, though, and the other hunters can only shake their heads in disbelief. <laughs> so, All right. So what that means is I am going to destroy Steve. So we have to roll to place out terrain, and we have to roll yes. to place out monsters. So. Oh, I was like, what are you checking? Just make it easy uh, for future state. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, based on the game board here, if we zoom out a little bit, uh, we each have four little things. It'll be like two dungeon markers mm -hmm. as well as two other types of terrain. We will roll a d10 to place each of those. They yep. can go in the same spots as others. Uh, you just can't have the same type in the yes. same spot. And then we will each roll a d10 two more times to assign the first two monsters for each of us on the board. Yep. Uh, get everything ready and... Hit the ground. All right. Let's roll in place. Three. So, uh, yeah, choose your terrain, then roll. Oh, okay, fine. That way you don't have any kind of, so I can't <laughs> place it in the three. I can place it in the five, though. Five. <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. Okay, that's a dungeon, so I can't go there again. Zero. I got a Where's the ten? four. Boom. Okay. And zero again. Oh okay, my goodness. This is a heck of a D10 today. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? There's no terrain up top. Well, everything's going to be in the bay den too. There we go. Okay. Well, that's a, a thing that happened. So uh, these areas are potentially going to be very difficult. Uh, there are some perks that we do get if we're fighting sometimes in a space, depending on like the weapons or items that we have. But, yeah, this bottom area is very scary. All right, so here we go. So, monsters. First one up is going in five. Naturally. And it's a mummy. Next one's going in three. Now we got a seven. Okay, finally. Right, this is going to three. Wasteland Boom. is going to get a vamp. Six. Oh, that's a little better. I pulled both blues. North Point. Well, yeah, we'll have to remember this time to actually put monsters out whenever we take one off the board. <laughs> no, it's whenever you take a bounty off the board, you put another one down, not just a monster. I'm pretty sure it's every time you kill a monster, you put one out. Oh, we'll find out when we get to that point. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure, I mean, uh, I mean, if you want to look up just right now before we even get into it, that we don't have sure. to pause the game while we're playing, but we miss that each time. Well, I remember we missed the bounty part. Uh, let's find out here real quick. <laughs> or else the monsters would just, there'd be no monsters on the board. Well, no, every turn, every time we start a turn, we roll a die to put a monster out. Uh, That's part of the story. I don't think so. Yes, I do. I don't think so, because then it would just be overrun with monsters. It's every time you kill a monster, you put it out. No, no, hold on. I believe you're wrong, sir. I believe me, right? We're going to check the rules. <laughs> Disengagement of enemies. Beginning your turn. To begin your turn, always perform an enemy spawn roll. Interesting. Yeah, okay. that's yeah. Okay. So, an open gather. So then we also need to find uh, when you kill a monster. If we when you one kill out. a bounty, that was in the bounty section from last time. Well, I'm saying, I, I also think it's if you just kill a monster, we may have to put one out too. But I might be wrong. So that. hunting. Sometimes you're in a space that's out for a bounty. Let's just point one towards you. Oh yeah, yeah. It's gonna be after. Defeating a monster over here forward. Oh, too far. No, no. Back one more. Well, enemy spawn. And well, there's never a roll either of a. Um... Wait, hold on. Uh, the enemy spawn will determine where in the match place you should roll. Each time a bounty is collected, yeah. Each player, the turn, uh, player, each time a bounty is collected, another enemy will spawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. And that's it. It's not when you kill a monster. It's not when you kill a no. monster. So it's just bounties and each, each turn? Yeah. Okay. Because then it would be overrun if it was every time you kill one. Okay. Crazy. That's why I thought it was 
Yeah. When you kill a monster, not well, it wouldn't be able to run it if you when you kill the monster because you're moving one off, putting one back on. True, but then it can land right where you are, and then that's just yeah. okay. insane. Got it. All right. All right. So next up, we're gonna take our d6s. We're gonna roll for some stats. So uh again, just real okay. quick, we're not gonna do a full tutorial, but if you haven't played D6, uh there's a bunch of cool stats. Uh you get some skills potentially that you can use uh when you unlock skill markers. Uh you have alchemy, which are potions. Uh, that you can collect and utilize as well through your turn. Uh, and then there are the actual stats, which there's four of them. We're going to roll those now. And you uh, have to choose which stat you're rolling for before you roll. Yes. So I am going to roll first for stealth. I'm going for strength. Shouldn't have picked, some, ah, I should have picked uh, something I easier. Three. What do you need? Six. And my strength is at three. I'm going to go strength next. You get a four. Uh, one gold for less than? Uh, three or less than is one gold, yeah. So my strength's a four, uh, which means I can only hold four of each card. Nick can only have three. I'll go for intelligence. Same. <laughs> Man. Four. Oh, but it becomes a four. Cool. And then skill adds um, one. For skill. I rolled a two, which is actually a three. I cannot roll tonight to save my life. So my two, oh no, my three goes up to a four. Because two's automatically three. That's a plus one. So I, do I still get one gold? Yes. It's, yeah, okay. Yeah. And last is my stealth. Okay. The only six I was able to roll was on stealth. I rolled threes for everything else. That's cool. Yeah, stealth is my only six. I have four. I actually think we messed up. I actually think you roll and then you choose where you want to put it. But it's more fun, I think, to choose first and then yep. roll. Okay. All right. Well, so, Steve is starting off a little better than I am. That's for sure. So last thing to do is quickly understand what we got here. So we have our three bounties we have in the swamp. I'll just throw that up here. So our three bounties down here. Uh, so we have a swamp. We need a blue token, which we... And that's... I have two blue tokens on the board already. Right here. Uh, we just have to get them to the swamp. Uh, for the den, we need a... The I don't vampires, know. Vampire. Out there already. Which uh, the den's way down here. There's already one there. Already vampire waiting for us. It's not a vampire. Oh no, it's just undead. I was like vampire, specific oh, type of undead. Undead, whatever. And then we have the bay. Yeah. Bay, bay, bay. In the bay, we need the bandits, and we don't have any bandits on the board. No bandits on the board. And so the way this will play is we have three actions that we can do during our turn, from uh, moving to fighting to hunting to gathering and it's it says nicely underneath your character card here what actions you can do so it's literally move one space gather hunt an enemy those are all actions there are some free actions you can do which is buy consumables with your gold play cards which we have in our hand drink potions over here buy advantage cards perform a skill fight an enemy uh, oh fight enemies free hunt an enemy is the action uh and then spend an action of course is what you can do during your turn. Yes. And then some um, can only be done in certain locations. So we have like little things up here that we can see, but you can't, uh, that says, oh, if you're in the village, which is the starting location for both of us, mm -hmm. uh, and there is a special bit way to get to the village in certain aspects as well, that there's certain actions you can do for free, but only in the village. Yep. There's also other actions you can do if you pay gold for them. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's things we'll pay attention to and we'll announce as we do them throughout the game. Yeah, what do we got? We got dog mud. thing is, I can't read that far. I mean, you don't need to. I mean, you got your two. You know, you have your it costs two to get an advantage card. This yep. just says you pull two heroic quest cards. Yeah, I know that one says. Dog mud allows you to re-roll by paying two gold. You can pay uh, two gold here for holy water, which upgrades the D twelve. The D twelve only when fighting against the undead. Pay one gold for plus one movement, and then two gold to get cash your little cash cube out. Then of course that's paying two gold to raise a stat, or one gold to roll to try to raise it. Uh, empty your pack in the village. Uh, rest of the inn village. is free for the village, so it restores your HP. Yeah. And then uh, secure lodges. Yep. That's all village. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's why it's over there by the village. Yes. All right. So and then we each have... start with uh, one heroic quest card, one advantage card. Yep. Our strength stat tells us how many we can keep, so I can keep four. Nick can only keep three of each card. Yep. Uh, to start the game. And. If I remember correctly, there's a little red wording on top for some of them. Those can be used at any or against your opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, the green can only be used during your turn. Yes, correct. Okay. okay. So, uh, do you want to do cool. a D20? 
Okay, it's good to know. D20, so who goes first? Wow, I rolled two. Yeah, you did. I am not rolling good today. No, you're, I, roll, you're rolling if I, Nick. If I have to you're, stealth, you're... I'm, I'm perfect tonight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so three actions. For no reason, the dice hate me. I feel like in most streams for board gaming, there's always at least one person that the dice hate. That's me here. <laughs> they have something against bald guys. Okay, so you are up first. Yep, so we take a d4 and a d10, if I remember correctly. Yes. We have the spawn. And it's an open gather at the beginning, so we all benefit. So this is going into number 10. And then we got a number one. Which is a good old spider. Poison. So the, two. the spider one. will actually lower your stats if it hits you instead of taking away one of your health. Oh, we did get a one. That's a weird die. Yeah, that one's weird. That one's that that D four is I'm like, different. Do we have another D four? I'm like, that's gonna be confusing. I'm like, wait, that's not a one. Oh, wait, no, wait, well, they're all different. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's always whichever one's right yeah. side up. Well, no, but usually they're on the top. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so one for me is a wild. And one for me, so the, the gather boards are all different. Uh, so one for me is take two coins. So I have good five coinage right now. Uh, I'm going to use the wild for uh, alchemy here. And I'm going to place a bottle. And so on these little monster tokens, which are awesome, uh, there's little symbols on them. So the poison one's just poison, nothing beneficial there. But for the undead, there's a little stone structure. So if they're in a space with a dungeon, they will get an additional uh, increase in their strengths. So this D8 plus two becomes a D8 plus three uh, because it is in a spot with that dungeon. I think the Minotaur is the same. Yep, so this is actually a D10 plus one. In the dungeon. Yep, because he's in the dungeon. Exactly. Uh, so that's something that we have to pay attention to. Yes. Uh, what am I going to take? And we're Let's playing take Feral with these uh, miniatures, but the game does come with just a bunch of uh, standees with the imageries on them that match the cards that we're playing as as well. But these are just fun to play with. Yes. Easier to see on stream, too, from the top down. <laughs> okay. So... Three action available. Move a space, gather, hunt an enemy. Nice. Uh, so I'm the purple fella. We're going to move one. Nice. I am then going to... Uh, Let's make sure we ticker down our things. Yes. Doing. So yeah, so on our personal boards here, we have a little ticker to say when our turn, or what we're doing with our turn. Yep. Uh, I'm then going to roll to gather. So this is a personal gather. That's a three. So, so I get I an don't advantage get to, card. I don't get to do that. Take a look at that real quick. Advantage. And then I'm going to spend my third one to hunt an enemy. All right. So I'm rolling a... What am I rolling? You're not rolling anything. You're I'm rolling enemy and putting in your space. That's right. And I can choose to fight, but I don't have to fight. Yeah. That's right. D10 Minotaur. Uh, I'm going to let Nick have some fun with that. Okay. That's cool. Uh, that is the end of my set of actions. Alrighty. So at the end of the turn, if you perform all your actions, you get to draw two, two heroic quest cards. As long as you didn't die. You didn't die, and as long as you did all your actions, yes. you can stop your turn before you completed all three actions, if you so choose. Alright, so first up, I'm going to spend a gold to raise my skill by one. Okay. That's fine. That unlocks oh, this guy. I forgot about that. Let's put those two down there. Since I um, do, 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 do. One. I'm going to spend another gold to try and raise my strength. Wow. I am rolling like a champ tonight. <laughs> it went up. Uh, yeah, I know, but still, come on. <laughs> Out of... Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. So now I can hold four of each card. Cool. Stealth is fine. Oh, yeah, that's going to suck. I already have three. I guess they're using cards. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Uh, so I'm going to spend two more to snag an advantage card. Okay. 
Uh, the base die we roll is always a d6 when fighting, right? Yes, it is, unless you have cards that increase or shift that. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. And what do we have here? Do that. Well, it's a... Uh... Mm. We are in turn one. Yep. And so I haven't taken down my actions quite yet because I haven't actually done any actions. I've just kind of gathered items and such. And that's a D10 we have there. So it's rolling a D10. You could potentially boost it. Oh, uh, one thing too, before you actually start. I need to turn, put out, I need to do an open gather and all Roll that. your yep. dice. I forget. My bad. I remember before we started. Good job. So we got a three and then a four. So I get another alchemy. That's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna do a strictify. This three, this field is three, and then four is alchemy. I think four is alchemy for everybody, it is. right? Yep. Hmm. I'm going to do the rock of mages. All right, let's jump in. First up, I'm gonna go here and fight that Minotaur. We you have to. I know. <laughs> you boosted? A buffing or bo buffing. Whatever. Well, buffing? I, can I can boost him or buff you. Uh, you boosting? You buffing? Nah, we'll, you're booning? We'll, we'll let you have a Minotaur in a no man's land. Do a D10. He's so you're gonna roll the D10. I am. I'm not worried about your die roll. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, we're going hard. Why not? Catatonic. Kind of <laughs> so you roll a d20 and a d4. And you're ranged. And I'm officially ranged. So you can't take health hits. Okay. Wow. I mean, you can't win. That's true. I was going to beat the one. It's 13. Okay. So that gets discarded, which we'll just put over here. Boom. Probably a waste of it, but that's fine. I get two gold for doing that. Yep. Uh, which I'm just going to spend to get a new advantage card. Might as well. Okay, cool. And then this guy, so we have, uh, especially hides at the bottom of our boards here. If you ever collect all three of these, you get to turn them into any, uh, we're sorry, actually. D6. Really so you get to change any enemy, enemy into a D6. Any enemy to a D6. These ones, if you get two of these, you can turn it into any one of those three. Yeah. So that, boom, my guy right there. Nice. Okay. Take down one of your actions there. Yep. So, uh, one. No, is it? The, that. Okay, that button doesn't count as one. Yeah. Yeah. Got a card. Nothing in the harbor that we need. But I'll go two. And so we were to move into this space, you'd have to fight both those enemies. And uh, yes, you do. You would have to fight the highest one first, I believe. So that's two. Yep. And I think for my third one, I'll gather. One, two more coins. Wow, this uh, was me last game was like all the coins. I'm literally just gonna use those to get another advantage card. And so I can hold four of each type. Yep. And so that's my entire turn. I now get two heroic quest cards. Can I have you two, please? One. Ooh. Precious. So now, before we get to this bag of tricks, uh, the way this dial works here is before you actually move to the next turn, you go to this double zero. Yep. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to roll a D100 and a D10. Whatever number that comes out in the book, there are 100 entries of a story where something happens. Uh, so since I went first, I'll roll it first, then Nick, and then so on back and forth. Uh, as we figure out what these fun things are going to be. So we have 39. I got to make sure you're reading it right according to this book. That's just the zeros I know. thing. Uh, so 39. <laughs> Let's grab this. One. First story of the evening. Story time. Tell us, Steve. We have a gelatinous slushy for sale. Mmm, delicious. You enter a village and find a festive mood in the air. 
children are dancing in a circle. Hands linked, raising their voices in a sing-songy voice. Children are dancing. Uh, the verse they are singing. <laughs> There's once was a clear bob of gel that put all the townsfolk through hell. Oh. There, <laughs> this arse of a cube sucked up many a rube before they could eke out a yell. Oh, Along came a mischievous sprite who hated that bubbly bright. This magical lass up and pured its ass. So now <laughs> we've got slushies half price. Nice. <laughs> nice. That was epic. That's I love great. this. So what do we get? So while in the village, pay three gold coins to gain a chilled glass of cube and gain one glory point. One glass and glory point per player. Greedy gut. Uh, so I don't know what a chilled glass of cube is. I'm assuming it's one of those over there or something. I don't, I don't know, but what's the glory point for? Let's check out the index of this book. There's oh, I mean, I guess these are technically the glory points. Got it. Yeah. So I mean, there's probably to be some little marker we can put down that says plus one glory point. No. Is there, what's the, is there a picture with the thing? Yeah, the picture looks like one of our cubes. Interesting. All right. Well. I guess we'll just keep note. We'll just take one of these with the plus one, like put it off to the side. Yeah, but we could also just hold on to one of these cues that aren't being used. Okay. Yeah. So, uh... That's hilarious. So, we have to spend three at the village during this turn. It doesn't say... It just says well in the village. It does not say in this turn. It's always... But it's just... It's okay. always specific to the turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're reading Dr. Seuss? <laughs> that was a uh, adult a version of Dr. Seuss. Sure. Uh, welcome in, though. Uh, yeah, we, we just started D6. We just got through the first turn, entering turn two now. Yep. Uh, which there's... How does turn... Or, I'm always first, right? There's no shift in turn order yeah. in this game. Uh, yeah, so we just got through round one. We've laid out some stuff on the board. Uh, but yeah, in between, you read these weird fun entries. Uh, that was about some weird uh, chill and a cube of slushiness. Yeah, I believe... I think it's just continues yeah it should be right here like that might be it's set up when determining turn order and then saying after that it'll change blah 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 gm events the end of the game terminate player will use a preferred method blah, blah, blah. Player won't be sponsored. Bill, okay, blah, blah, blah. Learn more about. It. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't yeah. change. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So let's grab my this one and this one. Grab your this one and this one, huh? Three mm. and a two. So my two is two coins. And we got a two. My two is an advantage card. Which one? And then two, the three. I can take it. The three is group three. And we have another monster. We have a good old Noel, who is a uh, D6 Beast. plus two, guaranteed. Right? I oh, know. Plus two is guaranteed, yeah. Yeah, but then plus oh tree. And we're not. He's not in the tree section. Nope. That place is terrifying. <laughs> uh, so to start my turn, we're gonna do some stuff. Wow. Of course, the den is one of the things we need, and there's a monster there specifically that we need. Yes, there is. Hmm. Swamp has nothing yet. The bay doesn't have what we want. All right. So I'm going to start off using one of my heroic quest cards. This heroic quest, I want to be where it is. Hmm. It can take my place here. Swap spaces with a monster. So what I am going to do, actually, is swap places with this Minotaur. Swap a hero or you swap spaces with a monster? Swap spaces with a monster. Yeah, you swap spaces with a monster. You're not... I just... Oh. It's yours, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hold up. <laughs> my bad. Now you have to fight those guys. No, I know. Huh? I know. Yeah. I, was, I want okay. to do that, but I want to get the Minotaur out of here. Oh, okay. Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. So that card is discarded now. Yeah. It's a request or advantage? A request. Oh, okay. I just make a separate pile. Whatever. Doesn't yeah. matter. That's fine. I, was, I thought it was an advantage. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so now I have to fight, and I believe, yeah, we start with the strongest first. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to fight this Knoll, who has a d6 plus 2. d6 plus 2. Huh? Place two buffs on that monster, so it says, Wait! As you get ready to swing your weapon at this creature, you lose your focus because you can't seem to stop thinking about. Butts. It's Mad Lib style, and I couldn't think of anything, so butts, okay? Can't stop thinking about but. butts. <laughs> can't stop thinking about butts, Steve. So I get a buff because you're thinking about butts. So this uh, monster now has plus two. So D6 plus four. Yep. Okay. All right, D6. Let's move these dice off the board. Eight. All right, so I rolled a four. I then will use this uh, advantage card. I would have lost had I not grabbed this shield off some dead guy. Plus three to a combat roll. Okay, still need more. Yep, and then I have Strictify, plus nice. two. There you go. All right. Uh, that's a vanish. So... And gain one free reroll. Or. Oh, or. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Reading. So I get this null. Nice. So this null, I now get two gold off of. I then am able to place that nowhere. So it's going to go over here. Uh, then it automatically triggers a second attack. I don't think I... Can I do anything in between the two attacks? Uh, you might be able to stealth away, but... Oh, I can't you know. spend gold, okay. No. Alright, so second attack. So D4 plus 2. D4 plus 2, and it's not in its terrain. So it's just D4 plus 2. And I have nothing to do. Okay, I have a D6. So we have four, each by one. I have three, but I have a card for that. Actually, you know what? Ties go to the victor, so I'm going to use one of these, plus one to a combat roll. All righty. Uh, actually, no, ties did not go to you. You need three mean? or six to win ties. Ties, you lose. Ah, good call. Okay, then instead of using that, I'll use this. Okay. Well, I can't think of a better time to use this than right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll refill any potion. Plus two to the combat roll, okay. then I set a five. Nice. Okay. Uh, that's one of these. All right. So now that's down. There you go. So now two we more coins. Skull. We get two more coins, which I'm going to take a card for. Okay, advantage card. Okay. I'll, I'll take a second advantage card too. Okay. Thank you. Yep. All right. So that was not even a move. Uh, yeah. Because you played we played a card to flip yep. and start all of this. Going to the den? Uh, not yet. Ooh. I am first going to uh, spend one to harvest. Nice. Harvest. We're not playing Tiny Epic Vikings here. Gather. Yeah. <laughs> I got a one, which is a wild. It so. scares us. Why. Our wires are a bit cross. Uh, which is a wild. So I'm going to use a uh, strict. I'm going to put it back here. Or use uh, use rock me. Nice, nice. Uh, now let me check something real quick. How does stealthing work? Do you just go one you chance to, to roll stealth? Yeah. You have to roll below your stealth. And then you can just move automatically. Then you move to an adjacent area. Any yeah. adjacent area. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> What's he doing? I don't know. That doesn't work the way I want it to work. <laughs> uh, okay. So we are going to. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, so he would get D8 plus 3 because he's in mm -hmm. that area. But he is undead. Mm -hmm. And we kind of need him. Yep. <clears throat> and there's a story that goes along with all these bounties. So this one here in the den says, Something's been sucking the blood from our sheep. We've known far and wide for our garment industry and all the wool is ruined. Who's going to make your designer ponchos now? <laughs> Are you going to go get the sheep 
sucker, the chupacabra. <laughs> uh, well, I got an idea. Okay. So let me just verify how this action works correctly, Nad so I don't naturally. do it incorrectly. <laughs> Yeah, so I thought, okay. okay. So I can hunt, puts it down. I don't have to fight it. I keep Correct. fighting that. Uh, so I'm going to spend my second action to hunt. Okay. Where is the D10? Nope, just kidding. I don't know why I'm doing that. It goes into my space automatically. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, there you are. That's a D6 plus two plus a tree. It's another null. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I am not going to fight that. Right. You're trying to block my path. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> One more action to go. For yes. Steve O. We're going to go ballsy. Uh, third action. We're going to take a move. Get it. All right. So we automatically trigger this mummy. Yep. So the mummy is a D8 plus two, so plus three. Mm -hmm. So a D8 plus three. Plus four. Okay. I'm going to throw a buff on this monster. I should have mentioned this sooner. This monster is traveling with a minion. Very ugly minion here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's put this back to the board. Sorry. Yeah. So you can actually see what's going on. Very ugly minion. Uh, so let's place one buff on a monster. So this monster is now a D8 plus four. Yep. Roll request. Alrighty, good sir. Are you chancing? Ooh, <laughs> sorry, I threw it off the board. I'm not doing anything yet. Ugh, Two. goodness, seven. Well, that's okay. I'm going to take a minus one there. So now it automatically triggers again. Right? If I run this yeah, yeah, until you, you, you stealth die. away. Until I, I'm not going to. Yep. So, so D8. Now, that buff's yeah. gone, right? I don't think so. It's still the same battle. Oh, I think I, I think that that monster is buffed the entire time you're fighting it. Okay, let's verify that. Okay, because that yeah. plus one could make a difference. It could. You're right. Enemy engagement. Uh, buff a monster. You cannot buff guardians. There's no limit to how you can buff. I think it's there until you're disengaged. Potentially. Yeah, all enemies have one natural HP. Once you're engaged, you rem an enemy you remain engaged until you it destroys you, it kills you. No, you destroy it, it kills you, or you disengage. There are other enemies in the space. You don't have the option saying take a hit and get another one. You have to fight the same one. Mm -hmm. uh, da, da, da. Okay, yeah, it looks like it would stay on for the rest of that well, is there, battle. Is there a playing? There should be a spot like playing heroic quest cards to buff them. Fun, non action task, cash play advantage cube. cards, cash cube. That's rests, so that's too high. It'll be with the fighting, it'll be all in here. Your opponents now well, have you the opportunity buff, to buff yeah. the monster. You can't buff cards. There's only the number of players who can play buff. Yeah, whatever. well, there's none that says anything against yeah. it. Yeah, so okay. I mean, it's so, magic because the monster you're still engaged with it. So yeah, yeah. disengaging is when it no, that's goes fine. away, right? Okay, so that was uh, attempt one. Yeah. Oof. I was rolling eight on a D8. Uh, we'll take two. Dead. No, no, I'm not dead. Now I can use my cards. Seven uh, plus four. So seven plus four is 11. Mm -hmm. So you need more, you need seven to win. Time, you don't win. That's right, I don't want to talk to you That is rough. <laughs> interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I should have used it beforehand. I forgot to do that. Too late. Uh, can uh -huh. I use that one afterwards? Oh, your weapon? Yeah. Yeah. I can use the other stuff afterwards. You can, yeah, you can use all the plus two combats and stuff, but not, you can't. <laughs> Actually, I was using this weapon. <laughs> After you hit him over the head with a stick. I can add six, too, which is what sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> Anything to make the monster reroll? No. 
Well, hunt. I'm not hunting, right? I'm just fighting an enemy. Mm-hmm. I'm just fighting an enemy. Yeah, fighting an enemy, not hunting. Mm-hmm. Actually, you have gold. You can spend dog ah. to reroll. Well, no, that's useless. Uh, spend two. Get the reroll your die. Wait. Oh, he's undead. I'm gonna use holy water. No, that's added, that's a d12. That you threw that before. I only have three gold. No, no, like you, it costs two, but you have to do it beforehand because it's a weapon. No, yeah, I know. So I know, I see that. Uh, dogma to re-roll, you'd have to roll, roll six. six, though. Yeah, I know. Which at that point is pointless to... Uh, like you're a waste of gold. So you don't lose your gold, right, when you die? Excuse me. Um, You do not. Yes, you do. You do? It says right here. Uh, lose the remainder of your turn, regain all HP, lose all collected hides, lose no that action cards. marker, but gain no heroic quest cards. Berryman drops you off at random space at the start of your next turn. Yes. Doesn't even say you lose your cards. Just heroic quest cards. Lose um, all heroic quest cards. It says gain no heroic quest no, cards. No, this one. Oh, we saw this last time in the book. And there, separate. Yeah, it says lose all. So this says your turn is over, lose all collected hides. So I lose both hides. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, though you keep your bounties, uh, in the glory points, which mm-hmm. is so dumb, um, lose all heroic quest cards, your action marker is placed in rest, but mm-hmm. you gain no heroic, and then your next turn you're randomly dropped off somewhere. Mm. Okay, so, let's see, what are my options on the board here? Um, you could spend two to buy an advantage card right now, that could potentially help you. I can buy an advantage card right now? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, oh, I didn't know I could do that right now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'll get that in a second. I got it. You finish it's your turn. Right here. I got it. What? Oh, come back? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Boomer, I, I, boomer. I was like, I can go get it while your finger yeah. turn doesn't bother me. Uh, that's a weapon. Can't use it. Oh, no. <laughs> well, at least you get to hold on to it for next time. Stevie's gonna die. 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 Stevie's gonna die right now. Well, I'm thinking but there is a I card make... here, but I'm like. I don't think it would work the way I want it to work. Or there's a the skill, but I don't think it works the way I want it to work. What's, what skill? I mean... Well, I have, oh, my skills are different than your skills. Yeah. I have Banishment. It says, move any one monster one space. But I was already engaged. So, yeah. like, if I did... Before the battle, if I did that... You wouldn't have been able to do... So, when you move into the space, you're automatically engaged. So, you would have had to use that before you... That's a, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, you're still hungry? Stomach ground? You had a whole sandwich for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man, I want to go finish that demo for Final Fantasy. So stoked. I, uh, two, I downloaded the Final Fantasy VII that. Rebirth demo. I, I, started playing through it. It's so good. Uh, if you don't know, it's it's the... If you don't know Final Fantasy VII, this means nothing to you. But if you know Final Fantasy VII, then this will mean a lot to you. But it's the, the Nibelheim... Uh, scene when Sephiroth snaps, essentially, and just kills everyone You're and steals the whole demo. At all? No, I'm not. I'm just saying that's the scene. Everyone, if they know Final Fantasy VII, yeah. then they know that scene. Uh, you need to play through that, which is I, awesome. I die. You die. Oh, and I come over here. Yep. So these get discarded. Put them back in the bag there. Yeah. Lose all your heroic quest cards, which is only one. Keep the advantage cards. And uh, my turn. And then, uh, yeah, next turn I have to wait to respawn. Yep. Okay. Bring down the place monster. Seven and three. Do I still get that part? I, I believe so. Spell. Yeah. I get advantage card. And I have to drop one off. There you go. Because I can only hold four. Oh, could have used that last turn. Stupid. Seven. Wasteland, man, it's blocked off. And three right. is a wild. Ooh, so do I want to advantage? Can I hold advantage card? I don't think I can. One, two, three, four. No. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. While you're uh, spectating, Kim, have you played uh, D6 before? Or is this game uh, new to you as well? What did I just do on this board? <laughs> I'm going to do an alchemy as my 
There we go, sorry. Oh. Action here to get Strictify. Yes, yeah, so this game is a D6. Strictify. It's a and d kind of game. Not uh, really. It's... It has aspects of D&D, for sure, like skill with, checking I mean, and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, with the dice. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a mix between, like, I guess, like a and d when it comes to skill checks and, and stuff and, uh, like, the Monster Hunter series in a way, the, the video game series, because you're, you're hunting monsters and you're trying to collect hides, and that's where you get your points from. Uh, and you're trying to ultimately pretty much just end with more points from the hides by the end of the game than the other person. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's fun. It, it plays relatively quick for the number of rounds you can choose to play a short game like if we played the regular game it would end next round that's boring. uh but we're gonna play all the way through six so we have more time to really get at it and all right i'm gonna start off by moving into this space all right With triggering an attack on. and he doesn't get a buff to so get a d6 it's plus two plus two i so can't give it any buffs because i had to drop my hero flash cards i'm going to Use my wasted mace. Boom. D12. Gives me a D12. And a free reroll. And a free reroll. He's probably going to need that. <laughs> probably. Notoriously bad at rolling. Here we go. So, season roll for the monster. Five. Three. Or, plus two yeah, is five. Yeah, five. Ten. Okay. You want to reroll? Dead, dead. No. <laughs> so, I get two gold for that. Boom, boom. Is that one of my specialty hides? It's not. So it's going to go into a wild hide section. Okay. And then for number two, I'm moving here to the den. I'm fighting that guy, which is a D8 plus three. You have no heroic quest cards, so you can't do anything. Oh, I can roll dice, though. I'm playing Nature's Teeth, which is D12, gaining an extra coin if I win the combat roll. Okay. So D12 again here. There we go. Oh, it was a bad roll off the corner. Uh, so three plus three is six, five. You do not win ties either. Nope, but that's fine. I'm going to use... Uh, you have not. I'm coming away from the co-op style of the Indian games. My friend just got his copy of Euthia. Uh, Euthia. Euthia. Ooh, that is a very Euthia. big game. That Euthia looked awesome. I have so many like campaign games and stuff that I, I didn't jump into that, but that is like... A huge map, so much going on. Nice. Look, it's it's cool. I'm gonna use my strict five, which is plus two, which gives me uh, yep. one over. So snagged that homeboy, which goes here, which gives me three because of that instead of two. And then I can turn these into any one of these hides. I'm gonna go with uh, the bandit guys there. And uh, this goes back in the bag. Boom. So you do that. Now I'm you like roll and place the another bounty. Woo! Alrighty. Yeah, hey, how they number these three, two, one instead of one, two, three. I know that's what I just did. Yeah, there. I know. Same thing. I'm like, I want to see the three spaces. But... Like I was planning out our player boards earlier. Like the right section is going to be like our, our backpack area. So like has your clues and items yeah. and stuff. And I was like, wait a minute. So for the items we have, they don't need to be like separated one by one. Like those can also be stacked one, two, three. Because if you're going to look at them, you're going to pick them all up anyway. Yeah. And that just saves space. True. And stuff. So I was, it's, I'm trying to figure out a way, okay, what's the best organization based on, okay, how you think, how I think, yada, yada. So that'll I don't be, think that'll ever match in how we organize no, the board. No, it won't match. <laughs> no, it'll, it'll never match, but it'll be like, okay, the we can find the middle ground. So that's coming out. And then we need to throw out a new monster on two. Where is the pass? Oh, number eight is the pass. Number two. So getting a D10 plus one plus maybe yeah. another one. We got a werewolf here. D10 plus one. Um, same symbol? <laughs> unfortunately, Hint. that is the oh, same so plus two. as this. Yep. All Man, right. these things are just landing in the right spots for themselves tonight. So got you. Got my coins. Last one I played uh, League of Andor. And it was not great. League oh. of Andor. I actually haven't heard of League of Andor. It sounds Star Warsy. Because Andor. <laughs> okay. So we have Bay Pass Swamp. I have one action left. I have one, two of these cards. Let me do an open gather. Not an open gather. I'm sorry. Uh, regular, uh, no, no, regular no. gather. A one. There's two coins. So that's your third, yep. That was my third. I was hoping that I could get something that would allow me to 
return to village, unfortunately not. Um, but I still have, I think that's what I got. Oh, I get two of our quest cards. Yeah, right there in front of you. But you don't get to take them until you finish your turn. Right, right, right. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to spend four of these. Two, two of these. All right. Let me see what those look like. Okay. Those are items. Uh, it is still my turn. I'm going to use this on you. Uh, let me read it out loud, I guess. <clears throat> I have no idea how you even let a rust monster get so close to you, Steven. Uh, it says, if you ch uh, if the chosen player fails an intelligence roll, they must discard an advantage card. See the roll below your intelligence. 50% chance. You do not, so. Above the intelligence. <laughs> you, you not, I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, okay, advantage cards bought. Don't think there's anything else I can do with these bad. Um, yes. Nope. Nope. Hold on. Oh, yes, I can do that. Awesome. Putting your cube down. Interesting. Okay, mm -hmm. you done? Mm. <gasps> Sorry, not doing that. Oh, you already put it down. No, I'm not. Turn isn't finished. <laughs> not at all. I am using a skill to perform one free gather roll. Two. Damn it. Yeah, that's common. That's fine. That is. That's fine. I get an advantage card. Let me see. I need to discard one. Yep, that's fine. I don't mind. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. So that guy we can get rid of. Dragon's Teeth. And because that didn't work out. Now you're going to do it? <laughs> have to. Yeah. What right. I was trying to do, because this this turns that thing's active, I was trying to get the alchemy or wild so I could get the uh, return to the village. So I could go there, spend the three, get the extra point. Cause I couldn't make yeah. a difference in the end, but it didn't work. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now you're done. Interesting choice. Putting the cash cube there. Hmm? I don't start in the village. Oh, you don't. Nope. That's all. I'm, I was waiting for you to pick up your hero. I'm like, you finished your turn now. Now you can't move it. That's fine. <laughs> Whatever. As soon as you put down, I'm like, Oh, he thinks I'm starting in the village. I forgot that you don't yep. start in the village. <laughs> That's fine. I, like, oh. I hope you start right there. That'd be amazing. You start in the one spot. It's fine. You're screwed. No, it's fine. Uh, also, these I get don't get at the end of my turn. I get oh yeah, end hey, of my turn. Do. Sorry, yep. sorry. Yep, when you yeah, finish you turn. Do. Sorry, I was thinking. I was thinking when you beat the monster. Nope. Yep, you're good. You're good. <laughs> cool. Uh, my turn to read. Yeah, roll All right. Fast. Yep. Uh, D10 and the right. twenty. Right. We're already a thirty-three percent. Right. One hundred and ten. Hmm? D100 and a D10. Oh, I don't have a D100. I need yours. Why don't you have a D100? Because there isn't one in the blues. They gave you just the basic ones. That's weird. Because the blues were actual were extra dice you could buy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Black and blue now. 99. Going right to the back of the book. Well, midway part of the book. 99. Yeah, I know. No, it's done. All right. Monster's milk. A spring of foul, poisonous liquid has erupted in the swamp. No one knows where it came from, but it's like monster's milk to monster. Sorry, it's like mother's milk to monsters. Jeez. They're coming from far and wide to drink it. You camp near the swamp in hopes of adding some hides to your collection. Visibility is next to zero, so it's one. And you narrowly avoid yeah. walking into a vast, elaborate network of webbing. That's when you realize you're not the only one looking to take advantage of the situation. Just as the monsters are drawn to this fountain of filth, giant spiders are drawn to other monsters. Draw six enemy 
tokens. All going on the board? I don't believe so. Oh. Uh, three. Imagine they all go on the board. Five, six. If any are spiders, all enemy tokens in the swamp, including other spiders, are destroyed. Nope. There's no one in the swamp. And there's there's no, no, spiders. no spiders. If no spiders are drawn, any monsters currently in the swamp gain one HP. No so in the swamp. Well, that was pointless of a cut. Or... Not really. Or I mean, it, it could have buffed everyone could, I mean, in the swamp. Based on how it or, actually happened is pointless. Or remove, like if these guys were in the swamp, it could have either buffed yeah. them or removed them. So. Yeah. Cool. That was it? Yep, that was it. All right. We are moving on to round three. So we are 33% of the way through this game already. But Woo! now... It is a special round. We're, it is no, called... We're, we're halfway. We're, no, we're not. We're entering. Right oh, it's sick. Okay, yeah, stop it. I got you. Yeah, I hear. I know the math. Goodness gracious. Uh, it's called a Hunter's Moon round. Ooh, All yikes. monsters get a plus two automatically applied to them. It's plus two? Yes. Damn. So I'm going to start out. I'm going to roll my d10. This is going to assign my location on the board. We got oh, a two. So close. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to roll a d10 uh, again and my d4 to place a monster and get a thing. So we get a two, so I get two coins. Okay, boom, boom. I've got to remove one. And then I put something in the five, which is the father's den. Oh, you get a plant. What you looking at? I was thinking if it automatically, because I randomly dropped there, I trigger that monster. I'm assuming I do. Yes, if you start, uh, it's like I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to this. So yeah, or stealth. You, uh, yeah. So I'm going I'm to go to stealth check. I think. Yeah, because that's plus two four. plus two more sports. So plus two four. Plus four. Uh, uh, and I don't need the werewolf for anything. Okay. So I'm going to do a stealth check. Let's put this back to our game board. Uh, yeah, it's fair. I had to scratch that itch with D&D. &D. Uh, when I play board games these days, I prefer engine builders where you can use your wit. Uh, yes. Yeah, engine builders are a lot of fun. Uh, I I love the wit of the games. Like we play successors. So I, think, there I, I think our favorite engine builder that we have right now, um, kind of engine builder, um, kind of not uh, is Castles of Burgundy. Yeah. Uh, but we are going to be diving into uh, Dwellings of Eldervale, which is more of that engine builder. The, those Luke Laurie ones where you build your engines. So when you put your people out, they just pull back tons of supplies. And that I cannot wait for Andromeda's Edge. His, nice. his newest yes. one that's coming. That's going to be really cool. All right. So rolling for stealth. Six. No. Fight it. Fight. Uh, I'm not buffing it. D10 plus four. I'm going to play a broadsword. Uh, I get a okay, D12. Clown. You bust your sword over here. Yeah. D12 plus one. All right. So we have 10. We also have a 10. Plus uh, 1, though. So you win. 11. Yeah. Sweet. So I get two gold, and I get a little thing <laughs> over here that doesn't help. Okay, so that's yeah, the advantage eventually. card. All right, so I am things. now... One of our games is definitely going to have cartoon artwork similar to this. <laughs> Not the same, but like... Just uh, fun. I know our current one is going to be very... Serious, like kind of dark, inky comic book. You kind of look to for an advantage. Need one of those back. Let's see what that does. Okay. All right. So where are we at? Uh, we need to get to a swamp. We need to get to the pass. Swamp pass. Everything is over bay. here. Literally right here. Yes, it is. And then we need to pull in monsters to fight them. Where are you? Oh, you're down here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. And you have the pharaoh monsters. Nice. You have the what? You have the pharaoh monster. Oh, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, but that doesn't help me out. Once you get there, it will. All right. So I'm going to use one of my skills. It's called Blink. Roll to teleport to a random space on the board. Please be a one. That would be amazing. Is <laughs> the right die? Yeah. Please be a one. Please be a one. <gasps> oh, right back to two. Right where you are. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> I would have got. I would have preferred one over that. No, I wouldn't. Uh, no, you wouldn't. Because no, you had to but... fight the cash cube. Yeah, I know. Uh, Actually, you probably would have to fight him first and then the cash cube. No, because I can stealth away from him. I can't stealth the cash cube, so I have to put the cash cube first. Well, you you could stealth from him, and then you'd have to. Put oh yeah, cash cube. True. There. 
Uh, okay, so. Hilarious. That was zero action still. Because you can't stealth out of a task yet. No, you can't. So that was zero action still. So let's try this again. Um, <laughs> what's this vampire? D12 plus. Oh, there's no added. Oh, the plus yeah, two, but because he's nothing else there. Uh, okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to use my second one here for banishment. Move any one monster one space. There you go. Okay, smart. Now, that's turn number one now, officially. Move number one. Mm -hmm. Find that guy. Yeah. So D6. D4. Plus two. Right now. Six. Wow. Nope. You lose a... Uh, it's poison. So you don't oh, lose, I lose health, one. you lose a skill. Uh -huh. No, I use both, right? No. Or just a skill? You, I lose, you lose health when you have no more skills to go down. Okay, so in that case, I never really use intelligence. <laughs> he's, not, he's not very smart. Wow, I'm Nick rolling today. Five. Lose another skill. I'm thinking. No, you lose a stat, not a skill. Uh, Sorry, that's what. <laughs> skill one of the stats. Uh, Whatever. Uh, lose the thing. Do it. <laughs> we'll take stealth down one. Okay. Oh, there you go. There you All go. Right. That took way too long. <laughs> Two coins and a poison. Uh, yeah, we don't eat at dining room table, so it's the game room. Nice. If we had a house, that would definitely be true. But <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, even here, like we rarely eat at this table here. <laughs> it's too hard to keep all this set up. Yeah, we couldn't. No. Uh, no way. Not with the, theory, the, if the not, room. Not with the if, dog. If the room setup happened to be switched, where like you didn't have the door right here and like everything was there, you potentially could. Uh, yeah, but the TV would never be. Oh, I know. I know. I'm just saying hypothetically. Yeah. That, that would be the only way, but that would never work. Uh, and even okay. then, we probably wouldn't because the dog. True. Would potentially knock something down. All right. So there's no bandits on the board. So Especially we're we gonna move the, once we get the puppy. Number two, right there. Into the pass. Here we go. Are we gonna take him out? Yeah, we are. And I I can't buff him at all, so. Well, I'm going to buff myself with a D20 plus 2. Nice. And he's rolling a D12. Plus 2. There we go. Uh, Wormspan is great. We stopped playing uh, for this week. I didn't want to get my sick germs on it. Makes sense. I hope you feel better. Yes, definitely. Oh, my God. 19. A 21. One. A 1. <laughs> we added to 20. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, nice. <laughs> then just destroyed the dungeon. So I get two gold out of that. Yep. I get this. Yep. That goes there. This goes in that slot. And now... Ooh. Where's my... D10? Yep. Six. Six. Way up there. Okay, so more of an even playing game now. Two for the bay. Another undead. There's no other undeads on the board. There's no bandits, and there's well, there is a rogue, but I don't want to do that. Uh, that's a D eight. Oh, let's go for it. I'm gonna spend one gold uh, to utilize a movement. Uh, plus one to rent a horse. One, two. Nice. Okay. Feral monsters. Nice. Good on you. Triggers. Right. We got D8, so then plus D10, so you're not going to get hurt. Uh, yeah. Nice. And where is my D10 on the board already? Six. Nine. Nailed it. Nice. So I will take this. This is two more. These. Wait, now. reading these. So the one he just got it, yeah. says, with all these monsters around, it's almost gotten to where a free-thinking fella can't even enjoy a new dip in the swamp. <laughs> nice. Almost. <laughs> it says almost. Yeah. It's great. Uh, so that was my third action. So that's over there. But now uh, I had two of these. So now that becomes one of these. Nice. And you turn something into a D6 and you go to fight it so next. So this, these go back in the bag? Yep. Okay. 
Okay, so there's that. Now, do I want to do anything else before I get to... Is there a reason to get a vanish card? No, I can't use them during your turn. Only heroic quests I can use. That's um, true. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Boom, boom. Two heroic quest two. cards. All right, let's do our open gather and our spawn. Number one. Number three. Number one. Look I at get an advantage card. Oh, my goodness. Three is a wild for me. There we go. <laughs> is that where I want? You have a oh, I need to see what Masha's coming out first. Let me get to that. I thought you did that already. Oh, I did. Damn it. Yeah, you already rolled the one. Turn it's up there. Yeah. I'm like, wait, what? Shh. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to put more monsters on the board. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this goes. So, obviously, I have to fight this plant guy. Of Eden. Are you buffing the plant of Eden? No. <laughs> no? It's a three. I'm not touching that. You can right. roll your die. Five. You tie. Plus one. Sure. Have a plant. Uh, I don't get it. It goes back in the bag. I just get the two plants. Okay. Using my return to village potion. Here, I'm going to spend one to refresh this guy. I am going to roll to increase my strength. Six. Yes, sir. Let's go. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Hold on to those. Um, now, going to use Hero Swap. Okay. Okay, and first action to move. Okay. It's one. Can you can I pay two to add additional movement? I don't see why not. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we're coming here with this guy. Uh, we will. D eight plus four. So we'll fight it. Kind of have to, unless you wanted to like stealth just backwards. Right, 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 right. Are you, yeah, go for it. Can't win. Lower a stat. Lower one of my stats. Or lower stealth by one. Uh, let's go again. <laughs> just another D8. Okay. You know, I can roll nat eights all day long. So you're at 12? Yeah, I am. Six. Reroll that monster die. I use my rock and mages. It's not nice. my alchemy right and off. I win ties. Because I set six. So I got that. He's so lucky he had that rock of mages. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I held on to it. I was like, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, there was one action. Two. I'm going to hunt. Watch you pull a damn dragon. <laughs> That'd be awesome. No, it's a... That's a... Is it? No, it's a, a plant. 
Oh, it's not a dragon, though. It's a kraken. I know. The kraken rolls a d20. It's a d20 plus two. Yeah, and you know what he just used? His rock of mages. <laughs> so I wouldn't be able to reroll. Or have to reroll. Do you, want, do you want to fight it? Or do you want instant death? Oh, yeah, obviously I'll fight it. It's gonna roll it's gonna roll D6. So it only rolls D6 the first time. I believe so. Yeah, no, I'm saying that, that is a fact. Yeah. <laughs> that is a fact. I'm just saying. So you're well aware that it, like if you yeah. don't Yeah, okay. Wow, that was aggressive. So three, you, five. So, uh, you have a five. He has no um, more potions. I win. Oh, he's lucky. I played. That wasn't supposed to kill it. Just get it in a better position to trigger my trap. So I got that bad boy. So that's just worth points at the end. And two coins. Oh, are we tied now? Nope. Okay. And lastly, oh, uh, I'll be nice too. That's cashed in. You went. You went. Oh, okay, I went you to the, the village. village. That's right. Thank you. Occasionally, I'm nice to him. Appreciate it. Make sure I win lawfully. Pop that right here. Even awesome. though you don't lose them, which is still so dumb. But. <laughs> uh, I'm hunting again. Um, yeah, I'm not going to fight that, so I'm just chilling. Um, I am going to use this. It says, Stephen, the prince's amulet would look so great on you. Why don't you try it on? It's like a little black widow spider nice. thing. So do an intelligence check. Yep. Actually, sorry, that's the one I wanted to do. Sorry, I read that wrong. At least I know what he has now. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> what you just uh, this, is, this is the one that I want to use. So you're doing an intelligence check. This one says, Stephen, you look tired. Taste this prickly hippie. Made it myself. It's quite a trip. It's like a cactus. It says, drink me. So do an intelligence check. What's, what's it say? If, just do an intelligence oh. check. I'll tell you what happens if you don't. You failed. I did. So it says move them to an adjacent space. Okay. And all right. Now it is my turn. Boom. Hmm. All right. So before we move on, we're going to do a little story time. So here's a ten, here's a one hundred. You wanna take your die back? No. Eighty three. Three oh eight. That didn't make any sense. I'm making up some things. You know, we're fine. Ooh, my favorite. Unholy ground. Mm. Your hard work has paid off. Mm. You finally managed to track down the Lord of the Night. Mm. He was a phantom at the opera. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's Steve's favorite musical. It is. Unfortunately, it has led you to the Winter Killer Graveyard. Nice. A place you didn't believe actually existed. Oh, how you wished you'd be right. You've been right. It's the home turf of your vampiric adversary, which means he'll be much stronger than he was the last time you met. It also means plenty of real estate for your dirt nap if you're killed. <laughs> Not that there would be anyone to bury your body. Mm. One thing's for sure. If this is to be your final battle, you're going to make it one for the ages. Draw six enemy tokens from the enemy bag one at a time. Mm. If one is a vampire, uh, place it in a space with a cemetery, which is... The dead. The like down only, is the only, only the, the I was dead. like, yeah, okay. It should say with the cemetery instead of with Asian, but okay. Yeah. Well, it says A because there are more of those in the expansion. Oh, got it. So you can okay. Have, this thing could be filled with terrain. 
Uh, so blah blah blah. Uh, it also gains a buff. Nice. Stop drawing and place the other tokens back in the bag. If you defeat this vampire, draw one advantage card and one heroic quest in addition to the two gold. If none are drawn that are vampires, it looks like you're the only one who showed up. Your reputation as a bad mother hunter must be preceding you. Okay. Okay. So if a vampire gets drawn, all rest that were drawn before that just go back in. You stop drawing, and they will, you will get an advantage and her request for beating. Yes. But it goes there, so we got to actually get there to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Oh, for one. Like I'm doing bingo. Oh, for two. Mm -hmm. Nope. You need a red one? Uh, a specific red one. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> Every it's color. It's a vampire button. right now. Yeah. Dead. Nope. <laughs> Those are the ones I was trying to get. Last one up. Is it red? Nope. Oh. Wah, wah, wah. The vampire is in hiding. Clearly, it's daytime. All right, so now we move on to turn four. So the monsters are no longer boofed. Yep, so now let's me rolls me dice. Uh, a three. A three. So wild. And a ten. Watch me draw a vampire right now. No. Well, you get a minotaur to join you in that little area. That's cool. So what happens there? So you automatically... Because you, you feast... Or you uh, feasted... <laughs> You, uh, whatever it's called, uh, gathered to, no, you, you hunt an enemy to put it there, mm -hmm. but now it'll attack you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then I get a three, so an advantage card, which I can hold. Okay. All right, so uh, Cash Cube has been engaged yep. automatically first. Yep, sure is. So D12, there's no additional gain. You cannot buff a Cash Cube, I believe. Correct. Uh, I can buff myself if I want to, but that's about it. Okay. Harry Bastard stole all my stuff. <laughs> <Help>. <laughs> they should have made that H-A-L-P. How? Help. You want to roll D12 uh, there? Yes, I did, Lou. 11. It's a lucky roll off the side of the board. It's, a, it's still there. Uh, I'll take one hit on that. That's fine. Okay. Rather not use everything yet. Four. There you go. Oh. Three. No. Oh, don't change that. It's if fine. a one, two, or three was rolled during combat, re roll with a d12. Nice. Which is this one. What's it say on here? I totally meant to do that. Falling is a form of fighting. Seven. There Boom. Nice. Get that out of here. Thanks, sir. So. Look on the back, see if you got coins. Yeah. <laughs> what? Next? Oh, I was like, I'm, I was like, I thought you were no, reaching for the no, card. No, no, no. Like, yeah, I was like, what? No, the next. Uh, okay. Have the Minotaur. The Minotaur's a D10. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stealth the Minotaur. Okay. Check. Nice. Now you're going to stealth the other guy? No, I'll take the other guy down. Okay. Before? Oh, actually, did I? What? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, D4. Yeah, I'll roll D6. Fancy here. Two. Nice. Three. Plus two while not in a dungeon. So I'm not. Boom. Gone. Go. Cool. Uh, card. I do some of my best killing in the rain, and it's pouring. <laughs> That's almost the equivalent of Wolverine's. The best of what I do. Uh, oh. What I do isn't very nice. Yeah. Uh, also, since I was, you switched with me. These automatically happen. Or does it have to happen on my turn? I mean. I'm, 
because uh, you switched with me, put me there, but then you also pulled me out of I there. think it's on, on your turn if you move into the village is when they're removed. So you have to go back to the village. Okay, so I'll spend my first action, because I stealth from that already. Yep. Into the village. These are now locked. I then gain my health back. Yep. I will then... Pay two. Yeah, pay two to get both of these back. Nice. I will then pay one to reroll strength. Five. Solid. Nice. Gotcha. I will then pay one to uh, reroll for skill. Two. Not a. I'll take that and then. No, you're oh, not no. going for those. You don't get... Nope. I think you're the be... Only the beginning. Oh, never mind. Well, I'm leaving it alone then. Stay to four. Because <laughs> uh... then you can just perpetually just keep. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was like, I don't need to do it. It's full circle. <laughs> oh, man. Fun times. Uh, okay. So I've already used one turn was to move there. Hmm. All right. Fun. I'm now going to use blink. Roll to teleport to a random space on the board. One. Five. Okay. Okay. Clears me from that crap. Yep. Nice. Now, what do we have here? We have undead and bandits, and we don't have any undead or bandits. And both in the bay and harbor for the other, which is two. Yeah. So we're going to go... What's the smartest way to do this? We're going to do one of these first, and we're going to... Going to have fun? Fun. Mike? Give me a dragon. There's a vampire you wanted earlier. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't want that now. And he is undead, but this isn't the bay. Yeah. Where is the bay? Right here, Ryan. Awesome. <laughs> you can swap with me. Doesn't help. That doesn't get the vampire over there. You swap with me, you beat both of them. That'll have to find out how to get a fair monster. Yeah. It's a pull them in. Uh, so this vampire, um, do I need? Do you have? You don't have fair monster either. No. You'd also have to get through both. Oh no, you take this first. <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't be able to use the potion before I fight. I have to fight them, then I could use the potion. Ah, uh, that's true. Because you're immediately engaged with them when you turn. Yeah. Space. Hmm. So there's a good chance they could just kill me. <laughs> that is true. So the likelihood of me being able to somehow roll either three or four to get the feral <laughs> monsters and then being able to even use it to pull it to me and then being able to beat it after going through these guys is very unlikely. All right. So I don't, I guess so I can leave still. So let's go three. Yeah, because you hunted it. Yeah. Boom. Uh, that was my third. I... Don't need any advantage cards right now. Of course, they both are buffed by that. All right. I'm going to end my turn there. I'm going to get two um, heroic quest cards for finishing my turn. Uh, and I can hold. Enough. And open gather and spawn roll. What's a three? Three and three. Take an advanced cat. Going with you. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Damn. Stupid poisonous guys keep coming out. Which we don't need right now. Okay. So this is where I'm at. Just like every game you've watched on this channel, it's a close shot right now. For within one what a good glory. I'm point. actually engaged with them. I'm using advantage cards <laughs> see if those will help if those are requests those don't help me at all um okay well i have to engage the minotaur first so yep d10 plus, plus one. one what you doing sir 
Yeah, we'll see. Uh, you have your own demise. Yeah. Right. Well, let's try and get to them. So I'm going to use uh, Sacred Slugger, which gives me a d20. All right. Seven. So I win. I had a five. So I get that to gold. Just there. Okay. That goes bye bye. Next. Owl bear. You've never bumping. met an owl bear before. Did you, you're boofing? <laughs> nope. D8 plus one. And I'm going to use my <laughs> bone breaker okay. for D8. I'm two for three rolling eights on D8s. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> All right, here we go. You ready? Three. Three, Three plus one. Plus one for you. Uh, plus one for me. I win ties because I'm at a six. Lucky. So that's me. Two more. Those go bye bye. Using Pharaoh monsters to pull him to the bay. I'm going to use uh, two of these to get uh, holy water. Okay, so you're going to roll a d12. Yep. I'm going to roll a d12 too. Okay. Okay. Will it be enough? <laughs> so that's five. Plus. I have. No, that's your no, cemetery. No, that's. Oh, that's a cemetery. Right. So five, Ugh. which is fine. Um, I'll use my potion for plus two. So I get it. Two coins. These turn into one of these. This goes back in the bag. I collect this bad boy. Some unholy SOB with a taste for whiskey keeps slaughtering me patrons. Nothing wrong with drink, uh, drinking alone, but this has gotten out of hand. Boom for the two. Oh, no, sorry, right sorry, out. sorry, right here. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I hear that sorry. too. Sorry. Even though it doesn't matter, but okay. And then um, I need to figure out where the next homeboy is going. We gotta pull it. The bounty first, too. Or it doesn't matter it what doesn't order, matter but it's true. Field. Three. Hey, hey. Fun times. Hey, look at that. There you go. Oh, that's a field. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So, surprisingly, that worked. I was like, when I got the, when I got the wild, I'm like, all right, let's go for fair monsters just in case. <laughs> I was going to do that. I had that. no idea that that, that would uh, work. But I haven't been able to get alchemy lately. I keep getting these stupid advantage cards. Yeah, I had I had no idea. Okay, so I'm going to... I knew that was your only option. That's why I was waiting and acting as if I had something to use, but I was going to wait for the vampire. But I'm like, nope, I couldn't do anything. Two, okay. Um, I'm going to use this to refresh one skill marker. Of course, obviously. I am going to use, now use it. Steven, the Prince of Damien would look so great on you. No, 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 blah, 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 blah. Uh, roll for intelligence check. What happens? If you fail, you assume your chip form. Phenomenal. Why am I, I've rolled fives and every sixes every time. check. So you're now a chip? So now you can only roll a d4, and now you need to get that potion to get out of there. Okay. I am going to hero swap the field. Wait, I can't... What's the other restraints? I can still use cards and everything, right? Uh, I don't think you can use advantage cards. All right, we'll find out as you... Uh... Yeah. And he's a... Oh, he's not the strongest one. This D8 plus two is. Oh, that is true. Actually, goes, hold on. No, it goes by the base die first. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Or, so the D8 plus so sometimes, two. Hold on, let me read this real quick, though. Okay. Uh, chip, when you chip out, you are no longer engaged with an enemy. Place your opponent's in adjacent space. Ah. What's that? Hold on. If you're wrong, it's on the reverse side of every hero card. When you chip out, so mm -hmm. what does it say? It said I. 
a turn. Oh, just assume to my turn. I don't chip out. No, so so what you could do instead of turning to stealth is you could purposely chip out, which just yeah, yeah no, I get uh, so I can't use advantage, but I can use uh, the heroic quest cards. Yeah. Okay. So no advantage, but I can use heroic quest cards. Interesting. Okay. Are you going to buff the poison freak? I am not. I'm going to roll a d8, though. Okay. I'm just going to go for him. Use my d20, gain extra coin if I win the combat roll. Wow. What a waste. Eight again. Okay, so yes. Yeah, sorry for clapping the mic. That's two. That's you have ten right now. Yeah, I do. I have two. Yeah, you do. Bring this eight back here. Right there, she purdy. You would. <laughs> yeah. To when the time matters. Okay. Let's go. Uh, no, there's a stat. Um. We'll bring stealth down mm -hmm. to four. Oh. <laughs> that flex in your chest? <laughs> it's the shirt. Okay. I'm going to go again. Okay. That was a horrible bounce. I win ties. It wasn't. Oh, it was a tie. Okay. Yep. So that's poison. Gives me two. Um, I'm going to use that. These bad boys, that's look gone already. Okay. Plus two. Yep. So eight is the highest you could get. Is that with a tree? Okay. You gonna buff it all? Nope. Okay. Man, this is rough. So I win ties. So I get that homeboy. Two. The field is mine. Something is eating all the wild game, which means there's nothing for our husbands to hunt. They've taken to spending more time at home, and that's simply un Ek. Set up order. So I got to stop. Another one. <laughs> right? Oh. Oh, yeah. Literally. <laughs> they rode. I'm going to roll to see where that guy's going. Ten. Right where you are. Great. Wonderful. Give me a blue would be great. That's not blue. Ooh, it's a werewolf. Hold on. Not the right terrain for him, but D10 plus one. I still haven't used any actions yet. This entire time. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna perform a gather. Perfect. Wings of Flightius, Flightimus, using that. Village. Goodbye. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, health is fine. I will spend one to refresh this. I'll spend the other to roll for skill upgrade. It's yours. What am I doing? Why are you taking that? Here? Nope. Nothing. Okay. I'm going to do another gather. Four. Alchemy. And I will do another gather or just alchemy, which will be gain one extra action, which I'm going to use now to 
one. Two coins, great. We're going to use both of these to turn this skill four to five. That's what I want. So now that's unlocked. You're that lucky is... we haven't got any things that say you have to move once per turn. <laughs> All right, because we had one of those one time. Twice. Oh, yeah. we had one where you had to move twice, and the one where you got, you had to move it only once, and you couldn't move anything farther. Yeah. Uh, and then lastly, I'll just insult injury. I'll just I'll do this. Uh, roll for intelligence. If you fail, you have to empty a potion bottle. He says, oh no, Steven, did you notice well, that this one. thing trying to drink your potion? It's a tool. That's the one I, I could be willing to get rid of, I would, but I'm going to actually survive this one. Nope, so everyone, every single intelligence check, I'm just like super intelligent. All right. And that's it's the highest I'm just possible. super intelligent. <laughs> it's actually not so much. Can I have two of the heroic quest cards as well? That was a killer, killer turn for me. Yeah, probably. Interesting. Okay, cool. Do, 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 do. Um, where did you give me the? On your board. There it is. Yes. <laughs> Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Here we go. Thirty-three. Let's see, 33. Oh, further back. I'll bear with you. You've heard the alpha bear. Won't attack unless it's attacked first. It's wounded, but it appears to be guarding a stash of well-forged weapons. Roll to randomly place the alpha bear Represented by a D12 plus three token. Great. Lovely. We're going into round no, okay, five. Not. Okay. I yeah, right. It was a plus two on there. Oh my god. It uh, could the, be. The, the first on the board. The first hero who slays the alpha bear collects two random monster hides and one advantage card. So you just grab a hide out of. Yep. Two random ones. Okay. So I'm assuming it can't be the dragon. Or it could be. Probably a, that's a monster no, hide. It's it's not. These are hides. Oh, the dragon's not, not a hide. Yeah. yeah. So, this randomly gets on the board. So roll with D10. Eight. There you go. Good, it's not in my spot. <laughs> I mean, you would die and then go someplace, but. Oh, I mean, it's so now it's easier for you to stealth because you'll automatically stealth every time. Well, That's going to be good. Uh, so we're going into round five now. Back to the board we go. So, we're sir, going to roll our d10 and our d4. See what happens to the board. We get a two. I get two coins. Which actually, hold on. Um, Reroll for that intelligence check. Because you have a natural d4 now, not a d6. So you should have rolled a d4 ah. for the intelligence check. Four. <laughs> I, tried to help. I, tried, I tried to help. I tried to help. didn't help. I tried to help. Uh, this is a one. Uh, we're going to randomly pull a monster out of here and put it in one spot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's 1 a.m. here. I'm, luck I'm lucky my favorite food place is still up this time of night and they have Gatorade. Oh, nice. Ooh, what's your favorite food place? Is it like a, a restaurant or just like a convenience store? Like here? What time is it here? 10 o'clock. Oh, makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah, because they're three, four yeah. hours. Canada's four. East Coast is three. That was the dumbest thing. Canada has all of the time zones. You just acted like East, up was East far Coast. out. No, okay, I was talking about you upper. I was talking about the upper no, East Coast in, of Canada. She's in, isn't she? The Toronto, Montreal. It's Eastern yeah. time. It's Eastern. No, only, no, it's not. It's yeah, not. it's only uh, Prince. Only the no, Prince Islands. No, what I know, time I is it right now? One a.m., which is three hours. No, what time is it here? Ten a.m. P.M. It's only. It's only three. Oh, Eastern sorry, time. Oh, sorry, 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 Canada. sorry. Yes, you're right. I think the well, only where David's at in Nova Scotia. Yeah, Nova Scotia is the very corner. Yeah, that's why the only one. That's why I was thinking that. That's uh, what Prince Saint Prince uh. Oh, what's that? Uh, Prince yeah. Ali, fabulous. No, he, Ali Ababa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Prince Edward Island or something like that's in that corner. 
Uh, oh, there we go. You guys presume, yes. Yes, yeah, we're in uh, <laughs> Los Angeles Pacific time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've, I've, my friend David's been in Nova Scotia uh, for uh, years now uh, in college and, and uh, in school in general. I think it's on his last year now. And so when I think of like Eastern Canada, I, I almost said Canada, my God. Uh, when I think of Eastern Canada, I always think it's four hours ahead. And I think that the U.S. East Coast is three. So this is a D10 plus one. So I can use cards Don't mind my ignorance. that are heroic quests. I cannot use advantage cards right now. Nope. Hold on to them, but I can't use them. Yep. Um, so you have no way to buff yourself. Really, but I'm the, trying... really with the chib, your whole thing is just stealthing away which, from people. So if I use heroic quest, though, heroic quest automatically goes into effect, right? Yeah, but you also can't use heroic quest right now in a battle. Why? Unless it says during a battle. Advantage cards can be used during a battle. Heroic quest cards cannot. Yeah, because like if I had a negative one, I could use it during your battle to add buffs. You use it before the battle to add a buff, not not during the battle. True. So your advantage cards are the ones that would help you, unless it's set on the heroic quest specifically during a battle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, would you like to buff this werewolf? Oh no, no, I, I can't. I don't have no buff. No. All right. Are you gonna roll a d10? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just automatic win. Didn't roll. Did you do your, wait, you didn't do your uh, gather or spawning? Yeah, yeah, I spawned up there. What was, was, the, what was, was, the, ga what was the gather that you rolled? A two. Oh, I didn't. I, didn't, you didn't. I said two. It was right there in the I was board. talking. <laughs> I was talking to that. I didn't, hold on. Let me see how many I have here. Three. Okay. Mm. Okay. There we go. D10. Plus one. Eleven. Well, I'm not going to bother rolling. Uh, away. You I can't. Yes. Oh, I can. You can. Yeah. Oh, that's my. I didn't realize I could stealth. You it literally too. can't. That's my bad. I'm not. I'll okay. stop battling that. You literally can't. Are you okay? You're gonna. You're, I'm gonna let you do that. Next time I turn, I'll be like, no, you're on your own. <laughs> fine. No, you're fine. You can do oh. it. That's fine. I thought it was a chip. Like I. Oh, that's only the cash because, cube. Because we haven't chipped yet. So this is the first time I think any of us have been in chip form. Yeah, that's only the yeah. cash cube. Yeah, okay, you literally, okay. you literally can't miss roll your stealth. So. Yes, that means I can stealth here then, and then I can stealth there. Okay. So that's two moves. Self certain moves, are they? No. Oh, they... No, it just means that you avoid them, then you have to then you you move. Oh yes, yeah, right. Uh, stealth, yeah, I stealth, I avoid that move. Stealth, avoid, move. Yep. There you go. Okay. Okay. Uh then obvious no wait. No, this is stupid. Hold on. Uh it's still my turn. I'll give you it. Okay. Stealth, yes. So I stealth one. Roll, cool. Gather. Got it. No. Then swap spots with a hero. Okay. Is it when you get back to the village? I don't think so. You have to Is get, it? No, you have to get the potion. Ah, touche. So cool. Do that. Please put me in the bay where I need to get monsters to get more points. <laughs> that doesn't... Because you're disengaged after you stealth. I could harvest there? Just do or gather. Gather. Yeah. Unless you have, well, actually, you might have to move if you successfully pass the stealth, actually. Let's find out. Run check. Because if you don't have to move, then yeah, I would just I'll, gather. I right would there. too. But if you have to move, then. Yeah, do this, and now you can just gather, gather in the village. Oh, yeah. Ah, actually, so... What'd you say? At its core, D6 is about one thing. Killing stuff, collecting hides. In a tip game, you're working as beast, blah, 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 blah. Occasionally, during the course of combat, you'll realize you've been up more than you can chew. There are several ways a player can disengage from combat. Mm -hmm. This is usually done after an unsuccessful combat is made, but before damage is taken. Mm -hmm. If available, you can hero swap by changing another part. You do not have to stealth. You can just hero swap. It is, it's not after you've lost? This is usually done after, but before any damage is taken. So this is usually done after an unsuccessful combat roll. Before. Okay, so if you fail a combat roll, I can you just don't have to it. take the damage. You can use the hero swap. Yeah. Okay. So I'd rather do that. Okay. Because then I'm not using a stealth. Interesting. That's weird that you can just... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not... There's yeah. many okay. times where I would have just done that. Yeah, right. We don't know. Uh, okay, so I am swapping. Now I can go there. Now I can harvest. 
uh, or gather. I don't know I keep saying harvest. I feel like it should be take the damage. And I got a you, one. Then you Thank you. Swap. So obviously, boom, boom. Using it. So one broken. is wild. Yeah. I feel like you should have to take the damage, and then you can do a hero swap if you want to. You read it the same way I read it. I know. <laughs> uh, okay, now I'm back to normal. Nice. Now, I'm going to pay one gold to refresh a skill. Nice. Now I'm going to use a hero swap. Cool. Go for it. Yeah, obviously. Uh, now I am going to... That's locked. It is. <laughs> oh, not by, but now I have all my cards back. Yeah. Cool. We said gonna fight now. Okay. Um, still nothing. So that's a D10 plus one. Yep. Uh, what is it? A werewolf? Yep. In the bay. No werewolves out anymore. Okay. No base days. Oh, I'm an idiot. Got it. Okay. We good? Yep. Okay. We're going to fight a werewolf. Ready? I didn't... Oh, it's okay. Oh, I thought you were... You just said, let's go. I said, we're going to fight... Okay. Whatever. Uh, I was, I was going to use it anyway, so I'll be fair. Okay. Uh, it was a D4 plus 3. So you're like waiting for me to roll, that's why. No, I, no, just no. No, I was waiting for you to like finish so, wait, figure out what you're doing. So 4. So you win. What did you roll? Uh, I rolled a 3, so it's 4. Oh, so guaranteed. Oh, no, plus 1. No, so 3 plus 1 is 4. Yeah, and I get a f potentially a four. At least a four. Yeah. So, so I, you, but I have to beat you roll higher than a one. I roll four. Yeah, you're good. Okay, now I'm good. <laughs> All right, so this goes here. I get two coins. That is an advantage card. All right, so now we are going to spend those two to buy an advantage card. Okay, so now if I play these actions correctly, see what happens. Mm. That was action one only, out of all of that. Mm -hmm. Number two, we are going to roll the d4 and we're going to gather. That's a four. Feral monsters. Nice. Activate. Nice. Oh, that <laughs> minute's hard is coming through. Wow, that's <laughs> terrain. Uh, so that's a d10 plus one. Yep. Uh, D10 plus one. Okay. I'm just going to roll my D6. Oh. Awesome. Three. Thank you for rolling absolute <laughs> trash. Plus three. <laughs> nice. So four. Nice. There you go. So and the hide you can't collect because you're full. I get to gold though. Yeah. That's fine. Put that back in the bag in a second. So that goes there. That was an advantage card. Says it would have won if my weapon weren't on fire. <laughs> uh, so now by collecting that, we get to pull another bounty. And we have a bounty in the field. Let's try. And uh, would that go back in first? Cook. Yeah, I guess it would go back in first. Yes. And where's it going? In the field. No, it's not. No. Okay. Just roll, put it out. <laughs> New yeah. bounties for the field. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Nine. Swamp. Swamp it. Swamp it. Fields there. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff. Do some stuff. What happens when we take this? The you get two random highs from the bag, which is oh, do nothing for you right now. Um, and you get an advantage card. Yeah, let's go for it. So one for a movement. Boom. Last one. Obviously. D12 plus three. D6. Nice. Obvious. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we're we're two hides. So that's, these, all, that's, that's why. These two hides now one become. Of one of those three. Yeah, yeah no, I got to pick which one, though. Well, actually, I don't. Do, wait. When both are filled, you, you may have, convert. You don't have to right now. Yeah, so I'll wait until I get the, the two hides and see if there's a gap. Um, okay. Before you roll, though. Hold on. So that's a D6. Plus three. Roll a d10. I got some broads sword. <laughs> Noise. All right. Well, that'll do it. 
five. <laughs> stuck to my hand. One. <laughs> nice. The dungeon got in the way. <laughs> uh, so four. <laughs> yeah, five was good enough. So two of those. One of these. Very nice. Here we get. Watch me pull a dragon. I can't use it. I put it back. Boop. Poison. Oh, this could be epic. No. Derp, derp, derp. So now uh, that goes back in the bag. We'll take that one. Alrighty. Okay. Not done yet. That's fine. All right. I'm going to play Heroic Quest card. <clears throat> I think it's a good time to use that map I took from the farmer with no teeth. <laughs> Gain one action. Okay. I'm going to use it to hunt. Hunty, hunty. Uh, I wonder why they left some lines on this map. It looks legit. It's legit. It looks like someone drew this map on graph paper and did edit it. Yeah, that, that's what they were going for. Yeah. There's another side to it that looks like literally like pieces of paper like taped down to make a map. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's even crazy. Like not even just in the water. It's like everywhere is literally a full graph paper thing. Yep. There's like little notes on there and stuff. Uh, so we don't need to roll. I keep thinking I need to roll the case. <laughs> Never do. The pass. And that's a D8 plus nothing. That's a D10, not a D8. Yep, you're right. It's a D10. <laughs> okay. I'm going to spend two gold. Okay. Okay. Obviously. Sure. I mean, sure. Oh. Whatever. It's the only spot it's ever going on this board right now. Uh, okay. All right. Is there anything else that matters yet? No. Not quite. No, no. No, we'll hold off to the last turn. I did use all my actions, so I get two heroic quest cards. There you go. All right. So we're going to do the open gather and the spawn. You rolled a one. Thank you. Coins. And nine. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, right in. Thank oh, God right for these there. orangutan arms. No, I was going to say right in my spot. That's not going to be one. I keep it's pulling the poison. These guys. I keep pulling the poison. I wonder where that dragon is. Is it in this bag? Yeah, it is. There's a couple in there, actually. <laughs> Just looking. No, put them back in the bag okay. anyway. While you do your turn. D20 plus six. <laughs> the golden dragon. The blood dragon. Is the there a golden dragon. dragon here, too? I think so. I never looked at all these. Okay, so now I'm curious as he's uh, making his decisions over here. Mm -hmm. There's just a sapphire is just a d20. Gold is plus four. The blood dragon is worse. Is d20 it? plus six. If you roll a d6, you've lost already. I know. <laughs> so, boom, yeah, we could. So coming in here fighting. and fighting that guy, which is a d6 plus two. Are you buffing? Maybe. You roll D six plus two. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not buffing. Okay. Rolly roll. Shake out the arm, Lucy Goosey. Get a three. Get a three. I got a five. You got five. I have five I love the as story well. Tainted Grail. Do you have the Mages expansion for Old World or Witcher Old World? Yes, absolutely. We do. Yes, literally everything. The minis and that looks went, super cool. Yeah, I went in on everything. The Sun Drop. Have the Mages. We have the the Monsters expansion where instead of just pulling a card and saying Charge or Bite, it's doing that. But then if you get the certain symbol, they have a little AI thing that yeah. attacks in a different way. It's just so much fun. That's what I can't wait to play with more of our friends at one time. Yeah. Yeah, because it's been just Steve and I going back and forth, which is still a lot of fun, but I just playing with a bunch of... Oh, yeah, because then you uh, have, like... it's For me and you, it's like, okay, do we just avoid each other and just try to gather all this, or do we just attack each other? Right. And it's like, okay. Okay, so that was one action. Wait, or it was my second action, sorry. Huh? What did you just do? I took I, the guy. How? 
I play. I use my potion, my my strict five. Oh, okay. I didn't see you play yeah. potion. For a second. Uh, I was like, wait. I was like, I my five. So yeah. And then so for my last action here, I'm doing one, paying one, and of course I'm fighting your cube. Yeah. And I cannot turn it to a d6 because it's a cube, I believe, as against the rules. No, let me double check. I don't know. Because it's not a Amazing. monster. Amazing. Yeah. I kind of want to play that Saturday, but we'll, we'll see. What we haven't decided what we're doing Saturday afternoon we have yet. So many, we have so many new games, too. We do. For Saturday. Um, we so want to save some of those for Thursdays, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Well, Saturdays are nice. I think, well, Saturdays are nice because they're not the the promoted, like, main mainstream. So it's one where we really just kind of are learning how to play a new game and stuff. So, uh... Look up the, the cash cube rules to see if I can change its D12 yeah. to D6 uh, or not right now. Cannot be, is not a monster. Cannot be treated as such. So it's not a monster. Cannot, yeah, that transforms a monster. Yeah, exactly. That's yep. what I thought. Okay, so it's D12. Yes, it is. Magical uh, 12. Are you, oh, you can't buff it, right? I can't touch it. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I definitely want to play with one of the mage characters. That's what, what you, you play with. What's in the running? Uh, I don't remember the mage character names, though. Oh, there's, there's a bunch. Yeah. In there, but what's in the, the running for Saturday? Oh, what's in the running for Saturday? Uh, I think, so we just got in Bantam West, which is potentially one if we can kind of just learn how to play that real yeah. quick. We have that's CO2 Western. we've talked about, but that's going to take a little bit of learning. That's a Vitaly Lacerda game, which is like a bunch. Uh, Bot Factory is one that would be relatively simple to jump into if we felt we like got, it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have a bunch of different options. We might just hop, there. maybe we'll just like... I have no idea. So Saturday we do have a deadline to end by like 5.30. Yep. So we'll get about four, four and a half. So we can't go anything crazy. We can go max of four, four and a half hours. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch. Probably after this stream, we'll probably check out the grouping and yep. see what we're vibing for. Yep, absolutely. Uh, so you're you're not, you can't buff. Never mind. I'm using my D20. This is just straight D20? Yep. Yeah, okay. So no modify shuffle. What? Six. Epic failure Woo! of a cube. It's all right. Of cash. Gone. Maybe use my D20 though. So. Yeah, I know what you're gonna do now. Yep. Pulling in this little guy. Because why would I pull in the D10? Yeah. So D4 plus one. This is interesting now. Yeah. Um. Huh. Uh, Actually, sorry. Oh yeah, we can definitely do that for you. Is uh, take a pick of all the games in our closet and toss into our Discord, so you can take a yeah. glance at everything we have. Sorry, just that really quick. Or do that. I'm using this. I'm in the field now. It says while in the field, raise a stat by one and gain advantage card. So I am going to raise my skill by one to six. Quest. Sorry, gain advantage card. Cool. Okay, and now I'll do that whole motion. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's a D4 plus one. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Wait. Okay. You thought you had the bone a banshee licked? But as it approaches, you can see it's carrying a bag of human testicles on its back. <laughs> Place one HP on the monster. So okay. you have to beat it twice. Is that what the extra HP means? That's, always, that's what it's like. Okay. So HP so like, is the same as this. So they have they another. Have, so you got to beat them twice? Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, one HP on it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Extra one, yeah. I think we did that wrong the first time we played. I think the first time we played, it was like you had to win by two. I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. That was to be the same as buff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what, that's what I was like. It didn't make sense the way we did last. Yeah. Okay. Okay, are you doing anything else to it? Uh, not at this time. We'll let the first okay. thing go it's through. D four plus one. Uh -huh. I've seen people play games with a chess clock time, and they have seven minutes to take their turns. It keeps the game moving. That yeah. is an interesting tactic. I think for games that we've played multiple, at least let's say three times, mm -hmm. we probably could do that. Like, because we'll there's a point where we memorize the rules. Our strategy might take a second, but we don't have to keep referencing things. Uh, this is the first time we've legitimately played uh, without just like always having the rule book open and ready to go. Yeah, last time we played first it on time. Saturday, is, yeah, we've had it just we learned it all. such a learning. So D6 in it. A one. So, so two. So oh, you get a tie. Yeah. Yeah. So that's gone. So let's go again. 
I want to do that my husband. He takes forever on his turn. I take two seconds. <laughs> okay, this die. Screw this die. Out of five. I need a new dice. So I get that. Uh, but that goes back in the bag. Two coins. I get this bad boy. Boom. Okay, hold on. It's still not quite done here. I think there's some games where I can just have my cards like in oh, the, a game like this, this where like it, like game where you're playing cards every turn like successors where I mostly just envision my turns yes four turns ahead ten but other games I'm like this is ridiculous like it takes way too long uh like this game says I don't I can't decide what to do until my turn comes around to see how things work out all right so we got a vampire in the bay in the north point vampire in the bay. Where's the harbor's right there? Okay. Harbor's there, North Point's there. All right. So for my last trick, put your cube in any space on the map other than the village. Cube in you. All right. And two of these bad boys for me. And on to the finale. All right, so let me roll my D100 and my D10 here to get our last story. And that's a 49. Let's see how much this screws us up. Watch this change the whole course of the game by... I, 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 I doubt it. <laughs> the whole page reading, so here we go. Oh, man, here we go. We have the Maiden's Crest. Just kidding, we have the Maiden's Chest. <laughs> Which is way worse. Oh, goodness. Uh, mine was actually less vulgar. Mine was, I read it wrong. It's true. Uh, you've been walking all day when a voluptuous maiden Volup in a low... <laughs> Vol voluptuous. Voluptuous. Vol <laughs> voluptuous? <laughs> I don't do it's English. It's well. like voluptuous Vulcan. <laughs> yeah. oh all right. Where do we start? Uh, you've been walking <laughs> all day when a voluptuous maiden in a low-cut turquoise and gold gown steps through a clearing in the brush, motioning you over. Would you like to take a peek at my chest, Traveler? She asked, a smile across her lips. And I'm not making this up. This is actually in the book. <laughs> Jen would be like, what are you, like, where are you thinking of this? <laughs> uh, you look behind you to make sure uh, you're the one she's talking to. You're soaked with sweat, and your clothes are a week past due for a good scrubbing. But perhaps this fair lass has a thing for your authentic adventures, for authentic adventurers. And right now, your authenticity is apparently to anyone downwind of you. The maiden steps back into the brush, and you follow, only to discover she's nowhere to be found. Right, row. In front of you sits a large chest. Uh, ah, her chest. Uh, a chest now it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hewn, hewn of expensive wood and inlaid with turquoise and gold. Do you, and now I get to make a decision. Exit the brush with a sigh. Perhaps you're s promising yourself you'll bathe more often. Perhaps you'll even memorize a few lines of poetry in hopes of ensnarling the next beauty. Or open the chest. Uh, and if it says is. if I open if I roll open the chest, roll a d10 and then turn to page 66, 67 to find. Mm. Yeah, I have to at this point. Right. I was like, I can't not. Four. Right? Four? Yeah. Yep. Portals. Never seen this sec these pages of the book before. D10 options. Wow, good thing I didn't roll a two, because that says straight to river sticks. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't have been my turn yet. Okay. Uh, four. A cache of weapons that fill every hunter with envy and every monster with dread. In addition to axes, swords, bludgeons, daggers, crossbows, and other familiar implements of mayhem, you spot a few weapons you don't recognize, including a curious earthen substance bearing a foreign phrase C4 etched into it. Until the next GM event, refill your hand with advantage cards whenever you fall below your max. Nice. So, we... so my max is, or both of our maxes is five. Mine's, uh, five this is until when? Your max. No, until when? The just next anytime, the, anytime next event, is? which there is no more events. So that, until the so last, just entire but, turn, every yeah. time we fall. So, so uh, how many do you need? So I need one. Uh, I need five. 
Oh, this is clearly written by men for men. <laughs> Possibly. Probably. There, there's been multiple games where like... Three, yeah, yeah, I only have two. I can hold five. Uh, there's been multiple games we play where it's like the story will be like interesting, uh, and then it gets really dark, which makes it more interesting for oh, me. Well, I love it. Lands of Galzir, that was Lands of Galzir, where yeah. it was like, okay, yeah, you're going to go to a farm, oh, you're going to get some resources. You find a dead body. And then you find a dead body. <laughs> then you end up in jail the entire time. <laughs> and then you go to jail. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe that we could do Saturday with Jen, but she's uh, busy all day. But maybe Saturday, we'll have to, that'll be one of our days where we try to figure out the like having someone sit between us with the yeah. mics and stuff to see if they can get them to work. Okay, so I have my cards now. Yep. Uh, that was the storyline. So we are now moving into Ooh, and round six. We have our second Hunter's Moon. All monsters get plus two on their die roll. Here we go. Uh, all monsters only, so the uh, cash cube does not. Yep, that's true. But you can't get away from the cash cube. Well, I'm just saying, though, just to clarify. Yeah. Uh, so we have a D12. You gotta make sure you roll your dealio. Yeah? Oh, yeah, let's start with that first. Let me gather. My 10, my because that could really become a big part of this. A 4 and a 5. So the 5, we're going to pull something out of here and put it in the den. And we have a spider in the den. A spitter! No, no. Okay, so first, I have alchemy. Let me pull... Uh... The obvious one, feral monsters. Right? Don't want feral monsters. Yeah, I can't not do feral monsters. That would be dumb. Yeah. Okay. So. Hey, bye, bye. Now we're starting with your thing here. So he is stuck under my cash cube. Ha ha ha. Which is the first thing I face off against. Fight uh, the yellow monster. Do it. All right, I'm gonna use a uh, heavy maggot. I get a roll of d10. I get plus two if you did not just hunt this monster, which I did not. Nice, so d10 plus two. Uh, so d10 is on the board. D12. Eleven. Ooh, so murder. Five. Okay. So that's one down. I am now going to roll a hatchet of no regrets. I get a D8. <laughs> uh, so let's pull this off and grab a D8. All of the, uh, uh, if you lose HP, gain an advantage card. All of the titles for these items and the stories actually make sense for the, the creators who did make this. I remember watching videos. Before we they, do are, they, they have a great sense of humor. Okay, cool. Now I'm good. Uh, so I'm all a D8. Mm -hmm. I, if I lose an HP, I gain an advantage card. Four. Well. <laughs> Which I would already gain an advantage card. That's stupid. Uh. So if it means like every time you fall below your hand size, does that mean that you essentially just... Always play at one, five. Take one, pull, That's play one, based on one, how pick. it says. Yeah. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. It's only for this hand. I know. It's so crazy, though. Okay. So we lose one. I gain an advantage card, which I already have five, but it means I would just discard one. What is... Okay. Nice. <laughs> what is... Oh, dual wheel means I can hold two. Or I can use... Yes. We're almost done in the last turn here. So what are you trying going to make on? things happen. Uh, so I'm taking my third attempt here. Okay. I'm um, playing Teacher's Poisonous Pet is a D8 dual wield nice. and Bloody Bunny Buddy. Wow, that <laughs> say that five times fast. Uh, bloody Bunny Buddy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> so I get a D4 and a D8 okay. dual wielded. Nine. 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 Uh, oh, you don't have a six. What do you mean? Oh, if you had a six, you would have one ties. Oh, yeah. I had plus two. Nice. There it goes. All right. All get right. that cube out of here. These are all advantage cards. I'll take two more. There you go. <laughs> what a weird event. It is. Okay. So now I can actually do my turn. Uh, the rest of my turn. I am going to do a stealth roll. Yeah. I failed. I failed every Every single stealth, stealth roll. Yeah. No, stealth and the intelligence. Um, yeah, that... that 
cash cube would have been great if we didn't get that event. That event specifically helped you with that cash cube. Oh yeah. Uh, so we're fighting this Minotaur. Yep. Which the Minotaur is okay. So I'm gonna use uh this D6 dagger of accuracy. I get one free reroll. Okay. Uh, that is a D10 plus nothing. Oh, D10 plus two because of this. Yep. Uh, okay. Are you buffing it or anything? No, I have to buff it before you play something. So oh, okay. I'm good. You went too quick. <laughs> oh, so you can. That's my bad. I did. No, no, it's fine. Okay. All right. So D6. Ooh, five. Clear. Ooh. I didn't need the reroll. Good. Boom. So that That's goes right card. there. What are you? Right. Oh, yes. And I get two gold. <laughs> okay. I didn't even start my turn technically. Well, I technically did, but I don't have any actions You need to, you to clear out your space. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, Wings of Flightimus. Nice. There you go. Drop off your Helio and heal. Heal. Drop that off. Nice. All right. Now I can do some stuff. Where are you going? Where First. You doing? I am going to do not be an idiot. We're going to spend two gold. Okay. One, because one each. One, two. Refresh yep. both of those. Yep. I am then going to spend a card that says, do an intelligence check. If you fail, take two coins from them. Okay. Fail. And you can toss those right in the box, because I'm going to use that to increase my strength up to six. Okay. And now I win ties. There you go. Uh, I'm like, I don't want to pay for this myself. I'll let him pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, why not? Okay. Now, I am going to... I'm going to do a lot of stuff. And let's hopefully all of this works to my fate. So it, these count if we own them. It doesn't have to be No, you, they don't count if they're here. They have to be deposited, I believe. Let's find that out. Oh, no, 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 that, no, no. I think it, they, they kind of, if you own them, you just can't get any more if you have yeah, them stacked up. That's yeah, what yeah. I okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so in that case then, I have this card. Okay. I want to be where it is. It can take my place. Swap spots with a monster. I can't technically do that. Nope, not right now. You can't, you can't put a monster in the village. Well, move one. Now I'm do it. So that just uses one action. Okay. That's a hero quest. Nice. Uh, so now I'm there. <laughs> Which is the smartest way to do it? You're there. Mm hmm. No, this is the smartest way. I'm going to use Banishment, I think. <laughs> what does this do? Okay. I'm going to use Banishment. Move any one monster one space. Nice. Auto triggers. Right. Okay. So, uh, it's a D8 plus two. I'm going to buff it. So it says, wait, as you prepare for the fight, you step back into a pile of shit and lose your footing. Next time, pay more attention. Okay, so it's a D8 <laughs> plus four, which is great. Thank you for doing that. I've been waiting all game to use this card. I'll open the book to the chapter on soul removal and begin to read. Remove any buffs from the monster. Use them for yourself. Oh, nice. That's a good card. Yep. so these are now for me. So I get plus two. Use this card. Cancel the last card and don't. No, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a real quest. So I get plus two on the first or okay, throughout cool. the battle. It's a D eight. So it's a D eight. We'll just say make this easier for both of us. Uh, these two cancel off this. Okay, sounds good. This just makes our math easier. Oh, I'm not there yet. Hold on. It's a D eight plus two is still accurate on mm -hmm. that card. I have a D6. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to roll my D6. 
got a four. Got a four. Plus two, so I'm, I'm at six. I'm at six. Plus two to any combat roll. I'll use that one spell, and it'll increase my power of my weapon. All right, now you win ties. Yep. So, I get this. Good on ya. And that was North Point. This goes here. That's two of them. Boom. That goes there. Another North Point. Is there beasts on the board? Right there. There is. Yeah. Which is why I saved this the no. whole time. Hey. I'm like, oh, this one's one away. Let's use that. Yeah, uh, Feral monsters. Bring the hellhounds. Hold on. Need to spawn first. Oh, touche. <laughs> Fine. Oh, because it could land in my own spot. Exactly. Or. Which is not my spot. Okay. Land. Oh, I thought for a second. Ah, uh, that was the dragon. <laughs> okay, they're, now. They're only worth like. They, maybe they're worth one. more. Yeah, maybe the other ones are more worth more than oh, one. One could be the difference, though. Could be. Uh, So, now I've used feral monsters to bring that there. Yep. Uh, I still only use one action. Uh, I think it would have been funny if you ended up in the river sticks. Uh, <laughs> does the adventure end or is it? So the way the river sticks ends is there's a few ways you can end up there. Yep. But what happens is your character comes literally comes off the game board. You would lose any hides you have on your character board down here. Yep. You regain your health, but then you also. Uh, you, you, lose, don't all, you lose all your heroic yeah, You lose cards. all the heroic quest cards, which I have none right now. Yeah. But if those I have heroic, heroic quest heroic cards, you lose cards those. are the ones that uh, you can use to affect someone else trying to fight a monster. So, like, I have heroic quest card here, which I could use to try and hinder him there. Yeah. If it's one that would allow me to. Sometimes they, they don't. Sometimes they're various effects that you could use for yourself. What you doing, Steve? Thinking. <laughs> what is... The, it's a beast... All right. Uh, An easy one, too. But plus two still. D4 plus three. Total. Or plus three, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start with... Still only a maximum of seven. Yeah. The bay, the hobbit. We don't have any bandits on the board. We haven't abandoned on the board the entire game. Yeah, no, these two have been sitting there That's the whole ridiculous. game. Ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna use my butterfly sword, D8 ranged, so I nice. can't take damage. Two. <laughs> uh, hold so on. So five. I'm gonna spend two to reroll. Dog mud. Okay. Oh, I was there. Wow. What is this game? How? I'm gonna spend two to reroll. Oh God, please roll one again. There Good. Go. Natty. <laughs> oh uh, my goodness. Card. I'll take two hilarious. more. Hilarious. Okay, so this comes off. Nice. Goes over here. Uh, this goes here and gives me two gold. Uh, you're rolling so many ones. I know, and that's usually a Nick thing. It is. Uh, so we have Undead in the Harbor. Uh, uh, where is Bandit going? Let's put that die down. Oh, switching. Six. six. Oh, you know where six is? Where are we going? <laughs> where I'm at? Again. Give me a dragon. There's no North Point, though, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It all attacks me. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. It's an Undead. An Undead. It's a mummy. Derp -derp. Okay, so I'm going to do a, a stealth roll. Okay. Can I roll a one right now? It would be great. <laughs> no, roll high. <laughs> Finally! Finally, you stealth. So that counts as that. Yep. That's an action move. There you go. Uh, we are going to... Wait, no. Oh, wait, no. I don't have to leave if I stealth. Stealth just means... I keep forgetting that. Stealth just means I literally mm -hmm. walk around and I stay in the spot. Yeah. So I can do other actions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I still have two actions. Good. Like This makes more sense now. Yeah, so I'm I'm good there. Mm -hmm. So now, out of face. I'm gonna do a hero swap. Yep, assumed as such. I'm gonna pay two gold. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sounds about right. Drop the cash cube there. I'm gonna move one. Uh huh. And unfortunately, you can't 
pull them to you. But you don't know that yet, because I can do. You're going to try to regather for your last action. 100% I am. Okay. Makes sense. This <laughs> is the only choice. Got a two. Two coins. Oh, not quite what you wanted. Oh, no, wait a second. I'm not going to take two coins. Dog mud, re-roll the die. Is that a wild? Weapon? Nice, there you go. So feral monsters, use Isn't feral monsters. On in. Bringing that into me. Going at it. Okay. Now. Uh, I am going to, I'm going to have it. Yeah. I'm going to use the dagger of the dead. It's a D6 plus three against the undead. Why would I do that? That's a D8 plus two plus, plus four. four. No, let's not do that. <laughs> no, would, no, no, let's do that. Why would I do that? I guess you're undead. So plus three combat, I guess you're Because I have three full health. Yeah, let's do that first. Okay. So D6. Three. Six. So I got six. So ten. Okay, crit. Nope, just kidding. That doesn't work. Because it that doesn't. Makes it six. Because, yeah, it wouldn't make that. I'd make it nine. Yes, yeah, so that doesn't no good. Uh, and I don't have anything to add on. Okay, so dead. Or not dead, but one one health lost. That's okay. Burp. I'll take an advantage card because it's a fun effect. I know. It's the dumb thing. So ridiculous. <laughs> for those of you who didn't hear the uh, story thing we read for this round, this round, anytime that you end up below your advantage card count, it automatically refills back up oh. your, your hand limit. One, two, three. D6 it. Okay. Uh, but I'm also going to use a card before you roll. So D6 plus four. You're rolling. D20 range, range, so you won't take damage. 12. 5. So 9. Good. Nice. Good on you, Mike. Land. There's land? Right there. Oh. And then you gotta put out a guy. Yes, I do. Take an advantage. I get an advantage. Uh, this goes over there. I get two gold for taking him out. Boom. Boom. All right. That was uh, fun. Spawn. Four. In the land. In the land. Is it a vampire? If it's an undead, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, it, never, put it, back. it never came out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> My finger got caught. <laughs> My goodness. Poison. Right. Poison. All right. Okay, and that's the end of your turn. Nope. I haven't no? finished it initially yet. All right. Well, you don't have any skills or potions that you can use. That's factual. So all you can do is play heroic quest cards. Or advantage cards. No, advantage cards are only ever for battle. battle. That's all the cards I took. Like, I can use any of these. I don't have any oh, heroic quest cards. Uh, no, hold on. Let me just make sure. Uh, place my cube. I already did oh, that. because you got the three. We roll a die. Don't need to do that. Holy water. Don't need to do that. And then all those have to be due in the village. Yeah. Um, yeah. All righty. My turn. Well, two heroic class cards. Okay. What do I have in here? I wish I had this earlier. Uh, okay. You gotta roll your day. Oh, it's ready to the gather. So we got one. So I get two coins. I get a wild. So wild's That's anything, right? Three. Wild's, wild's anything on your. So any of your things on your board, yeah. I'm we'll taking two coins because. Doesn't matter. I don't know if. Uh, That's tiebreaker. And does coins count towards your, your total points? No, tiebreaker. Is it tiebreaker? Pretty sure it's the first time breaker. Okay. I don't remember fully, but I'm pretty sure that was it. And I'm like, I don't, obviously, I can't use anything else. My turns are done. Okay. So, okay. 
So I gotta fight Jacassi first, first and foremost. Yes, you do. So we're gonna go with this D6 ranged. ranged. Uh, I know you're rolling my D12. D12. Here it is. All right. That would be annoying. So five. Um, and using a d6, so that's a nine. Do you so have a six over there? You do. Goodbye. And I need you to use two cards, and you just get some more. <laughs> that's fine. Get them right back. <laughs> yeah. Not the same ones right two. back. <laughs> no, I know. Well, I wouldn't want the same ones right back. Okay. Okay, what do we have? That and that. We have Harbor Land Bay. Harbor Land Bay. Give me a close game. Okay. There's still no bandits. <laughs> this so don't I think, exist. I think first up, I gotta do a hero swap. Let's get myself to the harbor. Mmm, I know what you're gonna do. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to. Hunt. So one to hunt. That's yeah. Is this Crazy the only ending. Is the only bandit that gets drawn? That would be so annoying. Nope. What is it? Oh, I thought it'd be a dragon though. <laughs> Animal handling while hunting. Send the hunted monster to Run another space, space hunt and hunt again. Yeah, <laughs> like screw it. Just get it out of okay. here. Hunting again. If we draw no bandits this entire game, <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. There we go. How strong is he? Oh, only a D4 plus one. So D4 plus the... Nope, D4 plus two because this terrain. So D4 so plus, plus four. four. So D4 plus four. You're buffing? Uh, what do you, you get three. How many cards do you have here? Three other cards? Mm -hmm. No, not buffing yet. So D4 plus four, no buffs. Why couldn't that be a D40? <laughs> time to roll a one. For him, I agree. Yeah, he's, it's time for him to <laughs> time to roll a one. It's true. Okay. So I'm going to use my D10. It says plus one to combat roll while in dungeon. I'm not in a dungeon. Correct. I'm going to use that. No, sorry. I don't want to use that. I'm going to use the. I'm not going to use anything. What am I doing? It's a D4 plus four. <laughs> it's a D4 plus four. Which is going to be eight in total. Yeah. Uh, screw it. I'm going to get more anyway. Might as well. So D12. Oh. Murdered. Lucky. Murdered. Uh, so, two. Mm -hmm. Coinage. Haba. Oh, you got the stack on the bottom. Okay. So I get yeah. it's back. It's going to be the time he rolls for max HP on the creature. He did, too. He rolled a D12. And hit 12. Ooh. This is going to be real close of an end game. Oh, I'm going to pull out this guy now. Oh, yeah. In the field, <laughs> another bandit. You want to roll that die? Going. In the five, in into the, the den. den. What? How do you pull two bandits? The whole game, we have no bandits, and you pull two. Yeah, I have no idea, but now it's... How is this going to work? Okay, let's see. Hold on. Well, you have to clear the fields of the land. Of the land. <laughs> when you've already used two actions, because you had to rehunt. Mm-hmm. 
trying to see if there's a way where this isn't going to be completely on chance. <laughs> mm. So I go. Sin up here. Just. <laughs> Oh, here's what I have to do. Okay, form one free gather roll. Four, yes. Feral monsters. Okay, nothing's in the harbor. Uh, don't need to be in the harbor. Moving. Move a monster from your space to your other space on the board. Okay. Pharaoh monsters. To pull in this guy. Now, of course, I am attacking. Are you buffing? You don't have any hero crush cards above, do you? I mean, I have two cards right here. Okay, were you, are you buffing? Thinking. All right, okay. So D4 plus three. Buff plus one. Okay. Before fighting, you should know this monster is highly intelligent. Okay, so plus four. Yeah. So D10 plus one to combat while in the dungeon. If you're in the dungeon. Got a two. Destroyed. So I, I keep on to put this in there. So I get two coins. This goes over here. I get one of these back. I get this bad boy. So lucky. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's do... Okay, harbor. Not this way. Five. She's not the harbor. Five's out here. Then. Okay. <laughs> Luckiest person ever to draw two bandits. Oh man, I know. And re-roll the gather. Or hit, get the gather okay. to hit sore. Mm. Nothing in there. That's just okay. That's a possibility. Okay. Doing this. Wings of Flightimus. Cashing those in. One, two, three. Fresh all those. Move one space. Pay to move an additional. Get to there. Gonna cash in these three. Fighting him. He becomes a D6 plus his two. Are you buffing him at all? Nope. Okay, so roll your D6. Roll your D6. So you're at seven? Yeah. Two. That's eight plus two plus four. Mm. Two coins. <laughs> two of these back. <laughs> this, this round. <laughs> I think I easily win this game if we picked any other thing from that booklet. No, not at all, because you would have been stuck at the cash cube. You wouldn't have been able to do anything you did. You would literally have been stuck at the cash cube. You would have went through all your cards. Because it took you like two rounds to get past the cash cube. Oh, that's true. 
It would have been way closer of a game. Yeah. Than this stupid page. Okay. I rolled any other number. <laughs> I'm still not done. So hang in there. I'm at the harbor. There's no, none of those guys out. So this is where it's on chance. Anything here? No. Gather action. Fuck yeah. So, uh, grape jib juice to have an extra action. I'm using that action to hunt. I pull a purple. Ah, oh. freaking bandits. Another bandit, okay. I don't have to fight him. I have a six on my skills, which means I can stack times two. I am doing another gather. Yes. So four, using the grape juice juice again, take the extra action to hunt. Yeah, there he is. All right, homeboy is a D6 plus two. The terrain doesn't match. Who's higher? D4, okay, cool. So D6 plus four. Can you buff? No. So, D10. Stupid. Mine. What do you mean? That's six. Four. Oh, it's plus four. What? Yeah, yeah, plus four. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah, go. Plus four. Mine. <laughs> That's not one of those, so. Two. There's bandits in here, Sam. I put it in there? <laughs> <laughs> Did I really? Yeah. I get one. Two. Harbor. North Point. And then do you want to just pull a guy out of there? Let's see where he goes. Five. I don't think I do anything else. I've used all my skills. I don't have any cards to play. You done? I have to. Yeah, I literally can't do anything else. Woo! It doesn't matter. We don't have any more turns. I'm following the rules here. Okay. That's cool. All right. So our game of D6 is finally over. That was amazing. Uh, that was a killer lesson. Nick won got... half an hour ago, but he, for whatever reason, he kept playing the game to get a thousand more points. I just want to make sure. <laughs> I didn't want to leave anything to shit. Last time, I was like, sure, like, okay, the outcome was set. It was with do tiny the epic dinosaurs, where I didn't breed that one last dinosaur, which would have tied the collective games. But yeah, two, four, six, 12, uh, 15, 17, 18. Well, how much was the last one worth? The one you just got? That was two? That yeah. one was two. Yeah, so you you had just won before that one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Fifteen. Yeah. Well, I, see, I, knew, I knew you had six. I just wanted to make sure because I didn't know how many of yours were threes. I need one more three. Well, thanks for watching us play D6 by Certifiable Studios. This is Bald and Board Games. I'm Bald. I'm bored. We'll catch you next time.